ഹലോ അനേകർക്കും ഇനിയ കാലൈ വണക്കം പാൻ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ്സ് തമിഴ്നാട് കുളുമത്തിൻ സാർബിൽ തുടർന്ന് നടത്തപ്പെടും ഇന്ന് ഒരു തൊഴിലുട്ട നിഹിച്ചിക്ക് ഉങ്ങൾ അനേവരെയും വർഗ വർഗ എന്ന വരവേൽക്കുന്നു ഇന്ന് നാം കാണുന്ന തലിപ്പ് ഈസ് ബാംബു കാഷ് ക്രോ മൂങ്കിൽ ഒരു പണ പയ്യറ എന്ന തലിപ്പ് ഇന്ന് കർത്തുകൾ പരിമാറപ്പെട ഉള്ളനെ കർത്തു പരിമാറ്റത്തിൽക്ക് പിൻ വിവാദങ്ങൾ നടൈപ്പറ ഉള്ളനെ ഇന്നേ നിഹിച്ചി നമ്മുടെ കുളുവിൻ സാർബിൽ നടത്തപ്പെടും 271വത് നിഹിച്ചിയാഹു നമ്മുടെ കുളുവൈ പറ്റിയ ഒരു തഹവൽ നമ്മുടെ കുളു ഫാം ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ്സ് തമിഴ്നാട് എന്ന പേരിൽ செயல்பட்டு വരുന്നது இந்த குழுவில் வேளாண் பட்டதாரிகள் வேளாண் பொறியியல் பட்டதாரிகள் போட்டக்கலை பட்டதாரிகள் கால்நடை துறை பட்டதாரிகள் பால் வளர்ப்பு துறை பட்டதாரிகள் ஃபுட் பிராசசிங் பட்டதாரிகள் என அனைத்து பண்ணை பட்டதாரிகளும் நமது குழுவில் உறுப்பினர்களாக உள்ளனர் அதிகாரிகள் ஓய்வு பெற்ற அதிகாரிகள் மற்றும் பல்வேறு தனியார் துறைகளில் பணிபுரிவோர்கள் விஞ்ஞானிகள் என அனைத்து தரப்பினரும் നമ്മുടെ കുളുവിൽ ഉറുപ്പിനർകളായ ഉള്ളനർ എൺപത് സിറപ്പ് സേവി ഇന്നേ നിഹിച്ചിക്ക് വരോ മൂങ്കിൽ കാട്ടിൽ செல்லும் കാറ്റ് ഇസയായി വരും എൺപ മൂങ്കിലെ പറ്റി അറിയാതോ ബഹു സിലരെ മൂങ്കിൽ നം വാൾവിൽ പൽവേർ വഹയിൽ ബയൻപടുത്തപ്പെടുന്നത് പാലം അമൈതിട സാലെ അമൈതിട ആടികളായ ഉണവായ മരുന്നാക എന്ന പല്വേറെ പരിണാമങ്ങളിൽ பயன்படுத்தപ്പെടുന്നു കട്ടുമാന പണി തുടങ്ങി തരകൾ കൂരകൾ സ്വർകൾ പോന്ന അനേതിലും മൂങ്കിൽ பயன்படுகிறது மேலும் മൂങ്കിൽ ആവർണങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്നതർക്കും பயன்படுத்தപ്പെടുന്നു വീട് ഉപയോഗ பொருட்களാണ് ഫർണിച്ചർ എന്നപ്പെടും ചെയർ ടേബിൾ പോന്നവയി ചെയ്തിട சிறந்த ஒரு பொருளாக பயன்படுத்தப்படுகிறது எரிபொருளாக பயன்படுகிறது கரி அதாவது பயோச்சார் என்ற பொருளாக பயன்படுகிறது அலங்கார பொருளாக பயன்படுகிறது தோட்ட செடிகளாக பயன்படுத்தப்படுகிறது கரிம பொருள் ஒளிப்பானாக பயன்படுத்தப்படுகிறது இவை தவிர உடலில் ஏற்படும் மலச்சிக்கல் உயர் இரத்த அழுத்தம் சர்க்கரை வியாதி இதய இரத்த நாளங்களை சீராக வைக்கும் மருத்துவ குணங்களையும் இது உள்ளடக்கி உள்ளது இதில் எடுக்கப்படும் எண்ணெய் பிசு பிசுப்பு தன்மை இல்லாவிடினும் ஒரு நல்ல மாய்ச்சரைசராக பயன்படுத்தப்படுகிறது இது ஒரு ஆன்டி ஆக்சிடென்டாக இருப்பதால் பல்வேறு நோய்களுக்கு கொடிய நோய்களுக்கு மருந்தாக பயன்படுத்தப்படுகிறது முக்கிய பணியாக வேளாண்மையில் இது மண் அரிப்பு உள்ள இடங்களில் வளர்க்கப்பட்டு மண் அரிப்பை தடுக்க வல்லது இன்னும் பல்வேறு பயன்பாடுகள் இவற்றை சால்படி செய்வது எப்படி இதில் அதிக லாபம் பெறுவது எப்படி உயர் விளைச்சல் ரகங்கள் என்னென்ன பற்றிய தகவல்கள் புதிய ஆராய்ச்சி விவரங்கள் போன்ற தகவல்கள் இன்று நமது நிகழ்ச்சியில் வழங்கி பரிமாற்றம் செய்யப்பட உள்ளன இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை நமக்கு வழங்குவதற்காக இன்றைய சிறப்பு விருந்தினராக வருகை புரிந்துள்ளார் டாக்டர் என் பாரதி அவர்கள் டாக்டர் என் பாரதி அவர்கள் ஓசூரை சார்ந்தவர் இவர் குரோமோர் பயோடெக் லிமிடெட் என்ற நிறுவனத்தை நிறுவி அதன் இயக்குநராக செயல்பட்டு வருகிறார் வேளாண் விஞ்ஞானியான இவர் மூங்கில் பயிரில் அதிக ஈடுபாடு கொண்ட மூங்கில் விஞ்ஞானியாகவும் செயல்பட்டு வருகிறார் வேளாண்மை மற்றும் பயிர் பருக்க துறையில் நாற்பது ஆண்டு கால அனுபவம் மிக்க இவர் எண்பத்தி ஐந்து வகையான பயிர்களில் பயிர் செடிகளில் குறிப்பாக நெல் வாழை கரும்பு அழகு செடிகள் தோட்ட பயிர்கள் மூங்கில் உள்பட எண்பத்தி ஐந்து வகை பயிர்களில் அல்லது ஆராய்ச்சிகளின் மூலம் டிஷு கல்ச்சர் மூலமும் பெயர் சம்பாதித்துள்ளார் ஒன்று முதல் கடந்த இருபது ஆண்டுகளாக அதாவது உயர் விளைச்சல் விளைச்சல் ரகங்களை மற்றும் செய்யும் தொழிலில் ஈடுபட்டு வருகிறார் இந்த பணியின் மூலம் 
தொழில் பயன்பாடு மின் உற்பத்தி பயோ இத்தனால் உற்பத்தி பயோசார் உற்பத்தி வீட்டுக்கு <laughs> 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 தென்னாப்பிரிக்கா பிலிப்பைன்ஸ் போன்ற நாடுகளில் ஆயிரத்தி இருநூறு ஏக்கர் நிலப்பரப்பிலும் இலங்கையில் இரண்டாயிரம் ஏக்கர் நிலப்பரப்பிலும் மின் உற்பத்திக்கான மூங்கில் வளர்ப்பு திட்டங்கள் செயல்படுத்தி வரும் இவர் நமது நாட்டில் நபார்டு ஸ்டேட் பேங்க் ஆஃப் இந்தியா இந்தியன் பேங்க் இந்தியன் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஆஃப் சயின்ஸ் பெங்களூரில் உள்ள ரிசர்ச் சென்டர் இந்தியா வுட் சயின்ஸ் டெக்னாலஜி இந்தியன் உட் சைட்ஸ் டெக்னாலஜி இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் பெங்களூர் கே எஃப் ஆர் ஐ கேரளா ஃபாரஸ்ட் ரிசர்ச் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் பிஜி ஃபாரஸ்ட் ரிசர்ச் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் தேரடூன் ஆகிய நிறுவனங்களின் ஆலோசகராகவும் செயல்பட்டு வருகிறார் இவர் உருவாக்கி நிர்வகித்து வரும் குரோமோர் நிறுவனம் உலகிலேயே மிக பெரிய டிஷு கல்ச்சர் ஆய்வகமாக குறிப்பாக மூங்கில் பயிருக்கான ஆய்வகமாக செயல்பட்டு வருகிறது என்பது ஒரு சிறந்த தகவல் மேலும் இவர் தயாரிப்பில் உருவான பீமா பாம்பு என்ற இவரது புதிய ரகம் விவசாயிகளிடம் அரிய அதிக வரவேற்பை பெற்றுள்ளது என்ற விவரமும் இங்கு சமர்ப்பிக்க விரும்புகிறேன் பொதுவாக ஒரு ஏக்கரில் ஒரு டன் அளவுக்கு மட்டுமே ஒரு ஆண்டில் சராசரி மகசூலாக கிடைக்கப்பெறும் நமது நாட்டில் இவரது ஆராய்ச்சிகள் மூலம் நாற்பது டன் வரை கிடைக்கும் அதிசயம் நிகழ்ந்துள்ளது தற்போது இவர் நேஷனல் கவர்னிங் கவுன்சில் மெம்பர் எனப்படும் பாம்பு சொசைட்டி ஆஃப் இந்தியா நிறுவனத்தில் புதிதாக பணி பெற்றுள்ளார் என்ற சிறப்பு செய்தியும் உங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் தெரிவிப்பதோடு இவ்வளவு சிறப்பு மிக்க இன்றைய சிறப்பு விருந்தினருடன் நாம் இணைவோம் அவருடைய தகவல்களை பெற்றுக் கொள்வோம் சார் டாக்டர் பிளீஸ் டேக் ஸ்டேஜ் டாக்டர் பாரதி பிளீஸ் குட் மார்னிங் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ மிஸ்டர் ஜோ ஃபார் காலிங் மீ ஃபார் தி ஸ்மால் டாக் ஆன் த பாம்பு ஏன்னா நிறைய பேர் ஐ சி லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் கம் ஃப்ரம் அதர் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஐ சி நவ் சம்படி இஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் அஸ் டு ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் நல்ல பண்றேன் பாதி பாதி தமிழும் இங்கிலீஷும் சேர்ந்து பேசிட்டு இருக்கிறேன் என்னோட பிரசன்டேஷன் இருக்கும் திருப்பியும் அதாவது மூங்கில வந்து ஒரு பயிரை யாருமே பார்த்தது இல்லை இன்க்ளூடிங் மைசல் நான் படிக்கிற காலத்திலயோ இல்ல ஒரு பிஹெச்டி பண்ணும் போதோ மூங்கில் ஒரு பயிர்னு தெரியவே தெரியாது what i have done over a period of time is to make this into a, a proper cultivable crop adukku or 15 varsha aayipochu indha 15 varshathila enna na ragam irukudhu endha ragathukku enna vivasaayam pannanum enna spacing kudukkanum what amount of fertilizer to be given what is the water to be given and what are the product that can be made from each species of bamboo endha vagaila endha species la enna panna mudiyum idha tha ivlo naala aarachi panni aarachi panni today we are able to come out with a technology called bamboo cultivation yes bamboo is highly profitable enake namba mudiyala na vandu padichadellame masters degree yum doctor edu panadala rice la i did all everything rice because at that time we thought rice is the best crop but today if you see that rice farmer cannot make more than 7000 to 10000 rupees profit per acre per year a cash crop like sugar cane 35000 rupees average profit and look at the cotton crop you have to again eat on it every year but even then you you cannot get more than 35 to 40000 rupees profit per acre per year but the bamboo when we really cultivate properly with the right species the bamboo is going to give you a minimum 1 lakh when you sell it as a firewood 
I will show you a lot of product with the bamboo. Bamboo can make quite a few things. You know, something like toothpick. Simple toothpick. This is 10 lakh rupees price in the market. One ton. It's there. We all buy it. 25 grams, we buy it. 25 grams, 25 rupees. One gram, one rupee. One kilo, thousand rupees. One ton is 10 lakh rupees. But if you want to sell bamboo as a chipped bamboo for energy, veragu, firewood, it's hardly 4,000 rupees a ton. But still, 4,000 rupees per ton, it will be able to give you one lakh rupee, a minimum profit. Minimum profit. So for that, you know, today we are importing this instant stick. This is an agarbati stick, and the stick, the base is the, the bamboo stick. Kuchi bamboo panna kuchi da. This bamboo, what happens? Chenna ponto namma veli na atundu mangro. We are importing all this. We are importing to an extent of almost one and a half lakh tons every year at a price of one point two lakh rupees a ton, not four thousand rupees a ton. And we are going on importing how much? 80% of our bamboo incense stick is imported in India. Why? We have a lot of area bamboo. 13.9 million hectare bamboo namachirko. China has got only 5 million hectare. Go to the internet, whatever I'm saying, it's all facts and figures. 5 million hectare, we are 13.9 million hectare, we are importing from them. Vietnam, only 1 million hectare. We are importing incense stick from them. It's a shame. It's a shame for us. Because we are not cultivating the bamboo. They are cultivating the bamboo. Bamboo in India is wild. Nobody is giving any irrigation. Nobody is giving any nutrient, fertilizer. We take a jersey cow, we feed everything. We take a broiler chicken, we feed everything. But bamboo, we don't do that because of which it's not known to us that it is a profitable crop. We brought in technology like what are the species, which is a good species. And then tissue culture, then agronomy, precision farming, then product utilization for different factories. Cement factory is using bamboo. Petrol factory is using bamboo. Shell is converting four kilos of bamboo into one liter petrol. This is all breakthrough technology. One side, I see Prime Minister is talking about hydrogen. The bamboo can make hydrogen at a lowest cost. Lowest cost. And if you start producing, that's not sufficient at all. That is the count of what we need. But I'll show you something very interesting. Let me switch off my screen so that... My background is not allowing me to really show all. I'll come to none and then, yeah. See this keyboard. Bamboo keyboard, live keyboard. It's not a toy. Functioning keyboard. It is not only keyboard. It is also mouse. Functioning mouse. Not with the plastic, with the bamboo. Plastic is almost 120 rupees a kilogram. Bamboo is hardly 5 rupees, 6 rupees a kilogram. And it is eco-friendly. Bamboo is eco-friendly. And it is, it is able to bring in Ilya. We can also make cotton out of bamboo. This is a bamboo cotton. We know our cotton, gossipium, which will give you only 400, 500, 600 kilogram per acre. This will give you 10,000 kilogram cotton per acre per year. Tell me, phone, land phone, rukuma, cell phone, verma. How? So land phone is gone totally because of the you know, innovations, the comfort, the, the cost. Today, this is going to be the future cotton. Please believe me, this is what is going to happen. Today, we are making towel in India. Yes, okay. Turkey towel in India, 100% bamboo, beautiful colors. I have shirt, pant, shawl, sari, socks, inner garment. Everything is made of the bamboo now. Everything is made of the bamboo. It is made in India. 
Raymond's is making it bamboo shirt, bamboo pant for the last 13 years. I'm not talking today new technology, very old technology, but we simply import it from China. Yeah, we don't have. Even simple insistic, we are importing it. Toothpick, we are importing cotton keyboard. Today, we have gone to the next level of making bamboo into wood. Normal bamboo is coming like this, you know, like a tube. This tube is converted into proper wood. And this wood is stronger than the normal wood. See, I'll show you the vasakal. The vasakal wood. This is with the door frame. And this is made of the bamboo. It's heavier. I'm not able to lift it. This is 1.2 density. Tangilapota, it will not float in the water. It will sink in the water. This is man-made wood from bamboo. In three years' time, and then every year, and one acre will produce 800 CFT of wood. 800 CFT of wood from one acre of bamboo. Teak will give you the same wood. Yes. But it will give you after 20, 30 years. <laughs> And after 20, 30 years, how much you'll get? You'll get hardly, you know, 3,000, 4,000 CFT. You're 800 CFT every year. And starting from third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seventh year. And if you go for a bamboo called Bhima bamboo, you will get even for 100 years. This is the Bhima bamboo. This is a normal bamboo. The difference is this. This is heavier. And thicker, this is smaller. This is what we see. And because it's, it's got a lot of thorns, we are not able to cut it. And the snakes go and sits inside. And it's a problem for us. We won't allow anybody in South India to grow bamboo in the house. Tata Patina Why it's not Nalade? Because it is got a thorns. Now, these are all thornless bamboo. They grow one and a half feet a day. Sir, I'm an agriculture graduate, did doctorate in agriculture. I have not seen even one plant which is growing one and a half feet a day. Tell me one inch a day. Which is the plant growing one and a half inch a day? This bamboo grows. And this is from India. That is the reason it is not developing. Chinese have got bamboo. As a different type of bamboo, they grew it. Why the lack of information? Even when I did my PhD, my, I, did my, I was a teaching at the university as an assistant professor. I never knew that the bamboo is such a wonderful product. In the last 15 years, I'm working in this bamboo. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful plant. How to grow, where to sell. These two other things. Now, I'm going to talk to you for next half an hour only on how to grow the bamboo and what product we can make out of the bamboo. Let me start sharing the screen. So we all know most of us are from agriculture. Not I think all of us from agriculture. Either we studied or we are practicing agriculture. And you, you see, crop like sugarcane doesn't give you more than 35, 40,000 rupees. And you, as a jackpot, you will get it. Higher income, few farmers, but not on average. Now, I did my PhD in agriculture. And after that, I've been doing a lot of product, as uh, Mr. Joe said, 80 different species of plant, even vanilla, uh, tulsi, or you call it as uh, wasabiya. So many different plants. So many different plants, sugarcane, banana, everything. But then ultimately, when I saw the bam bamboo is a good crop, and I'm a part of Bamboo Society of India. <laughs> And bamboo is a wonder plant or wonderful plant, which is which we are not known to us for the time being. I've recorded this, Fargan. How fast it's growing? It has started six o'clock in the evening. You can see the clock. It's three o'clock in the night. It's growing. Five, six o'clock in the morning, it's still growing. And nine o'clock in the morning, it's growing. Twelve o'clock in the noon, it's growing. Three o'clock in the evening, it's growing. And six o'clock, it reached 24 hours. It reached this distance. Yes. I have recorded the growth of the bamboo with my own cell phone, with a lapse photography. Every minute, one photograph stitched together. One minute, I'm able to see bamboo is growing one and a half feet a day. 
Oh my God, you have such a beautiful growing plan. What all things it can make for the world? Sir, in the global warming, it's not like that. Such a beautiful plan. It's able to sequester the carbon so much that it can make the world carbon neutral. India emission is only 1,900 kilograms of carbon dioxide per person per year. It's called per capita emission. Five Bhima Bamboo plant will make you carbon neutral forever. Forever. Your son need not plant it. Your grandson, granddaughter need not plant it. It will be keep on doing the job. We may not be there. The What we planted as a bamboo is going to remain for 200, 300 years. That's the beauty of this. But why? In the forest today, bamboo is growing like this with a low yield of 0.5 tons per acre per year. Because India has got 13.9 million hectare. Our yield, we have a very low yield. 12.5 million tons. So 12.5 million tons, it gives you one ton per hectare, 0.4 tons per acre. But farmer taking it out, planting it and growing it, today they are able to get four to eight tons, several times jump. Several times, it's a very jump. On all, precision farming. Vegetable, we are doing precision farming. Banana, we are doing precision farming. When you do bamboo precision farming, goes to 40 tons starting yield. It will go to any level. It will go to even 100 tons its own capacity. 100 tons. Dry bamboo, not wet bamboo. Dry bamboo. So why? Why? Because today what we have, bamboo doesn't grow. One year, two years, it comes only to shoulder height. And after third year, it grows a little taller. And the fourth year is bigger. And fifth year, we are able to harvest this is old technology. This is a conventional way of cultivation of bamboo. Today we have broiler chicken. Broiler cow. Jesse cow. Jesse cow is able to give better milk. Today with the technology, we can grow them to grow to second year itself. To the full height. Third year start harvesting. Fourth year harvest. Fifth year harvest. Sixth year harvest. And this is called modern method of cultivation. Simple. So, the moment you bring in agriculture knowledge to the bamboo, bamboo is highly profitable, sir. No plant can equate. So, what we do for that? We need to do a better techniques for higher productivity. The agronomy, the agriculture practices, all that is knowledge after knowledge after knowledge, which we have done plenty for rice and wheat and banana and sugar cane, but not for the bamboo. Today, we put bamboo like this in the border. Or when I went to China 14, 15 years back, I saw people growing bamboo like this. This is Chinese photograph. When I've been there, next to the uh, field, horticulture field, they grow bamboo. Next to the uh, uh, cabbage and cauliflower, they are able to grow bamboo. You see them, any agriculture plant, and bamboo is like an agriculture crop, which is not reached in India. That is the reason. Today, in the mountain, it is growing like this. Every bamboos are there. But Bamboo should be grown like a sugarcane crop, lime crop, not as a tree. What I've shown you now is a tree. Northeast is full of bamboo. Northeast poi paathu nakka asa megalai misra full of bamboo da irukudu. Ana indha mari karu mari valakano valakum bodu mel endu paathinga na ipdi theriyum. Lion lion ah varum. Bamboo is going to be a lion crop, no more a clump crop. Yes. If you do that then 40 tons is very easy, 1 lakh is very easy. Today, agriculture has got some constraint. Less labor. Perishability. It's not perishable. You know, you need less labor. And once planted, it can remain for 100, 200 years. No more replanting. Then comes your second generation, third generation. They don't want to come to agriculture. They all want to go to the some office job in, in, in the city. And still, it could be absent land or bamboo. Oh. So you don't need to be next to the bamboo. So bamboo can make, as I told you, so many products. It can make a laptop, instant stick, structure, electricity, ethanol, CNG gas, pellets, or even it can replace charcoal or coal. Coal, simple coal cannot be met. That is the kind of a requirement what we need. Today, bamboo is used for switching over energy from the fossil fuel. Your petrol or diesel or CNG gas or ethanol or even electricity from bamboo. So all these are coming in the market. Now we are developed with the companies after company. Now what is not included is the cement. Cement and iron ore are also getting made from the bamboo. 
பேம் வச்சு பண்ணி போட்டு கூட எரிக்கும் போது கதி மாதிரி எரிச்சு அதோட எனர்ஜி பண்ண முடியுது ஓகே இப்படி பண்ணணும்னா வாட் யூ நீட் வாட் யூ நீட் இஸ் நல்ல விளைச்சல் வேணும் நாற்பது டன்னை வரணும் அப்பதான் வரும் காஞ்ச மூங்கில் பச்சை மூங்கில் வந்து அறுபது டன் வரும் காஞ்ச மூங்கில் அறுபது டன்னு வரணும் என்னெல்லாம் வேணும் முதல்ல நல்ல வெரைட்டி ஸ்பீஷிஸ் வேணும் யூ ஷுட் சுக் லுக் ஃபார் த பெஸ்ட் பேம்பூ ஸ்பீஷிஸ் டு கெட் அட்டி டன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் அ கிளோன் there are many many clones are there but people are not really work uh, like a banana or a sugar cane or rice may not work on that so much so we need to create clone i have created my first clone called bima babu which is popular in india and abroad for 15 years it's growing everywhere and then comes the propagation tissue culture propagation then comes the agriculture practice agronomy you have to how to grow what fertilizer to be given what spacing to be given and the closer the spacing early harvest if you go to the forest department who are the custodian bamboo they will tell you as per the national bamboo mission norms only 160 plants 25 feet or 15 feet by 25 feet you have to plant but whereas if you plant 10 feet by 4 feet by a higher density you can harvest early then comes the irrigation do we flood it or we can also give through drip irrigation and give fertilizer also because bamboo is growing so fast so naturally it needs good fertilizer but what happens today in the field we have thornless bamboo all the also thorn thorny bamboo this is the thorny bamboo with full of thorns snakes will be there cutting and removing is very difficult here you see them loosely planted and they are all uh, loosely uh, emerge comes and we can cut it and remove it very easily without any no custom gadaya bamboo varad idile and it's it's become a crop then அதுல வரக்கூடிய கிளோன் தான் ஒன் ஆஃப் செடியை நான் எடுத்து பீமா பாம்பு போட்டு காமிச்சு கொடுத்துருக்கிறேன் தட்ஸ் கால் பீமா பாம்பு ஆர் வைல் பாம்பு விச் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு டூ த டிஃபரன்ஸ் இஸ் ஐ ஷோன் யூ த கேமரா இட்ஸ் ஹவு டி டூ த டிஷு கல்ச்சர் டிஷு கல்ச்சர் இஸ் அனதர் ஆர்ட் விச் ஐ ஸ்பெஷலைஸ்ட் இன் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி ஃபைவ் இட்ஸ் செல் இன் த யூனிவர்சிட்டி அண்ட் தான் யூ பின் யூசிங் ஃபார் சோ மெனி கிராப் பாம்பு இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த கிராப் ஒரிஜினல் மதர் பிளான் அண்ட் தட் மதர் பிளான் டேக்கிங் டு த லெபாரட்டரி கிளீன் ஃபார் ஆல் பாக்டீரியா ஃபங்கஸ் including virus of corona virus and all the virus are removed in this and then it is multiplied in the lab or 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 15 months ago they start multiplying into large number then it comes for rooting one tissue will become 1 million 10 lakh plants and this is a production line i have in in hosu i have been doing it and exporting to over 25 different countries throughout the world we make 1 lakh plant a day and it's kept in a growth room artificial light and then after 15 months it is brought to the greenhouse for hardening nalla oru oru maasam rendu maasam irundhu sunlight ku natural light ku ella hard aanana they look like this this is a 15 months old hardened i mean 2 months old hardened plant which is ready for export to any part of the world they travel for 4 but 4 days 5 days from here to australia or south america or to arabian countries or even including a lot of african countries it is going and it's been grown for next to over 3 months like this into a big polybag and this polybag plants are planted in the field there are many bamboo varieties i don't want to confuse you because there are so many species good for thing balkova is the one for energy or construction tulda is for insistic making and newtons is again for construction and stocksy for furniture bamboo super furniture from konkan area which is uh, swaji maharaja brought it for making a sword and all that but today it's been used for furniture asper dendrochlamus asper it's a edible shoot bamboo dendrochlamus hamiltoni so fodder bamboo adhe mari therostrike kalivarine nalla slendical nalla alagana bamboo which is used for fish uh, fishing rod or for making pole wall jump adukku this also same thing is used and palida handicraft bamboo brand you see again a uh, timber cum uh, bamboo shoots bamboo and latiforus is a big diameter bamboo like this you know there are so many species of bamboos are there now bamboo uh, you know let's look at what is the agronomy and agriculture practice enna pananum how do you grow the bamboo appo adukku enna evlo evlo spacing vidanum idha vandu modha modha na solitte irumbodhu 2010 la the salem cooperative sugar mill is the first organization to plant the bima bamboo as energy plantation at that time vikram kapoor was the is officer for commissioner of sugar and he planted the bamboo அவங்க பிளான் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறமா பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்க ஒரே வருஷத்துல இவ்வளவு பெருசு அந்த சுகர் ஃபேக்டரியில கவர்மெண்ட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ல வளர்ந்தது அண்ட் யூ சீ தம் த ஹைட் ஆஃப் த பேம்பூ இஸ் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் ஹைட் ஆஃப் தர்சன் ஓவர் விசிட்டிங் தே இட் இஸ் மோர் தென் த்ரீ ஹைட் விச் இஸ் அல்மோஸ்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபீட் அண்ட் அபவ் திஸ் இஸ் த க்ரோத் இன் தஸ்ட் இயர் லெட் சி ஹவு இட் இஸ் டன் த லேண்ட் இஸ் கிரவுண்ட் இஸ் லெவல் அண்ட் த லைன்ஸ் ஆர் மார்க் ஃபார் டெல் டுவெல் ஃபீட் அண்ட் டென் ஃபீட் கேப் அஸ் அ ரோ அண்ட் ட்ரெஞ்சஸ் அமீன் நார்மலா குழி நார்மலி வி டேக் பிட் அண்ட் பிளான்ட் இட் 
பிட்டுக்கு பதிலாக இப்போ ட்ரெஞ்ச் எடுத்து ட்ரெஞ்சுக்குள்ள மெனியூர் எல்லாம் உள்ள போட்டு அந்த மெனியூர் போட்டதுக்கு அப்புறமா இட் இஸ் பிளான்டட் தீஸ் ஆர் த மெனியூஸ் அது சாணி வரும் கவுடங் கோகோபீட் ஆர் பிரஸ்மேட் ஆர் இட் குட் பி பீக் மெனியூர் இட் குட் பி ஸ்வீச் ஃப்ரம் த from the nearby municipality or whatever it is whatever organic manure available cheapest and the and the, and the organic content should be good enough then put them in the trench below the bottom and after trenching putting it below the 12 feet gap is there then you close that take the next trench and couple of trench continuously and the top soil is mixed on the top and close it after closing the trench with the soil again top 4 feet 4 feet 4 feet the manure podranga manure potu adu kuda fertilizer this fertilizer is given after checking the adoda enna soil test la enna irukudu npk evlo irukudu ph evlo irukudu ec evlo irukku paathittu the basal test fertilizer is recommended then every monthly fertilizer is given after that so idu potittu then it is mixed thoroughly and the drip line is put this particular photograph in bangalore and where it is dry in the month of um, april it was planted and you can see them it is getting planted and then water recommend water recommend ella solvanga moongila ayyo nariya thanni venume everybody thinks water bamboo needs lot of water yes all plants needs water even i need water when i want to you know really speak for quite a quite a while sometime the quantum of water is only 5.5 mm or 20 l per plant that's all we need now now this can be given very well with the drip irrigation but lot of people if they have a lot of water apa enna pannalam we can give a flood irrigation by canal then you can also put a drip and the drip is like this going to be there and the drip irrigation should be connected to a fertigation tank fertilizer tank this fertilizer tank we will be able to give fertilizer if you are able to put a fertigation then weekly fertilizer small small quantity small small quantity i'll come to the later now this is how the land is getting prepared and then the drip line is placed and the manure is placed now the plant is growing 2 months old now you see them dry area only through drip limited water is going to the plant and i just turn the camera to show you the 12 feet gap now this is a 12 feet gap of the bamboo and rent mass 2 months old ip idhula 4 months la 4 months la it grows to this tall another 4 months from now 8 months it grows much more taller because the space of 12 feet reduced to 2 feet now this is why this is all growing bamboo like a broiler chicken bamboo so if you grow like this the bamboo is growing very well now taking all the sunlight but still some amount of sunlight is wasted another 2 4 months this is 8 months now another 4 months 12 months completely covered no light is wasted complete light is captured and the bamboo is growing you can see them the bamboo stems are there all the stems are formed now but you should not harvest now you should allow them to grow for next one and a half years that is two and a half years from the time of planting so idu vetradhukku munnala pathina 8 d gap ipdi irukudhu 12 d gap ipdi irukudhu maathi 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 potrupanga 12 d gap la tractor can go inside harvest and come out 8 d la pogam dia so indha maari gap uttu nadumbodhu plant vandu it's able to give you very good deal in two and a half years itself normally anju varsha aru varsha wait panna bamboo that is not needed you see this is in namakkal all these are people are come from foreign country except this my general manager and this is the farmer in the vivasai namakkal vivasaya la satta kuda podadala avarala panna mudiyadu avlo periya technology kedaiyadhu illa nu solla varen so it is a simplest crop to grow but if you use some of the fundamental principles and the quality then it's going to be easy harvesting everybody thinks harvesting is most difficult most lot of money needed for harvesting kadave kadaya the harvest undu mulula mungila irundha inda lungi kette karu potu release eduthlaru avarke vandhadhu kaiyila vandhadhukku apperma he is able to remove all the branches in the sites apperma then he is able to put everything together for sale now the bamboo harvest also either you can completely harvest or selectively harvest when i say selective rendra varsham kalichu when you go to the bamboo and the palaya mungil mattum vetrathu adhaavadhu oru varshathukku melana mungil mattum vetrathu one year plus bamboo is harvested less than one year not harvested but here i am showing you a methodology where you completely cut it which is not recommended by our forest uh, now at the moment but this is getting practice in many places many countries many farmers now it'll come back bamboo is like a cockroach it will germinate will come back again two weeks time this is four weeks time and in six weeks time taller than the person 
பேம்பு சச் அ ரெசிலியன் பிளான் இதோ பிரான்ச்சஸ் கட் லீவ் அது எல்லாமே கீழே தான் கிடைக்கணும் ஒன்றும் வெளியே போல தண்ணி கூட பாய்ச்சல் அதுக்கெல்லாம் அப்போ இந்த மாதிரி மூங்கில் வரக்கூடிய இதுல இருந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்க ஒரு திருப்பி ஒரு ரெண்டு வருஷத்துல திருப்பி ஃபுல்லா வளர்ந்துருக்கு இந்த மாதிரி So in two years time, the bamboo is back to the growth, full growth, ready for harvest, ready for harvest again. Now, when you grow bamboo, there will be a lot of space will be wasted in case if you're going as per the government regulation of 25 feet between plants and 15 feet plants between the two rows, uh, within a row. Now, all these space can be effectively used if you use an intercrop. Otherwise, they waste. And the plants also finding it difficult because of the heat radiation coming from the open land. You can grow beans. as a intercrop the gadal beans potana beans nitrogen fixation is taking place adanalu moongilu nalla valarudhu adu moongiloda kulichinala ulukulka payinu nalla valarudhu so the microclimate condition between the two bamboo changed and it will be able to grow all the plants you know different different species can be grown a cowpea can be grown mustard can be grown very well within the bamboo or a turmeric ginger can be grown with the bamboo we have grown almost all types of plants this is why i have been in the bamboo together and 22 months bamboo and 2 months old soya bean and that it could be bottle gourd it could be uh, any ridge gourd or even a watermelon can be grown between the two bamboo because of the climatic condition extended season of growth is possible this is a green gram with the bamboo this is a pigeon pea even a wheat can be grown between the bamboo this is a wheat in madhya pradesh bamboo and wheat together bamboo and rice together and you know this also beat again bamboo and rice bamboo and banana bamboo and tapioca bamboo can grow with many plants in fact between the two bamboo and the ulukula nalla kulich irukkanaala you can also grow uh, vegetables like tomato in the summer which will not crack that's another advantage you can grow um, you know all other plant which is not cultivable in your area between the two rows of bamboo continuous rows of bamboo you can grow them well coming back to the fertilizer bamboo since it's growing so fast they also suck nutrient from the soil and because of which they take 400 kg of per hectare uh, nitrogen and 40 kg of phosphorus and 480 kg of potash they keep removing from the plant from the soil and for that we need to substitute with the help number at the time of planting two baskets of farmyard manure then vermicompost 1 kg 1 kg and uh, vermicompost 2 kg on the second year then by the third year onwards bamboo will make its own vermi compost i'll come to that later and ena modalla uram venum ena chedi valarad romba vegama valarudhu adukku nutrient sattu venu nariya and the sattu kuda indha mari tholu urumo illa fertilizer la podanum appa podu bodu they are able to grow very well idu poga substitute with our npk nitrogen fertilizer application by way of giving through the urea dap and mop the moon mean amma varsya adu kudukanum evlo how much to supply and uh, you know it should be it should be 170 kg in the first year you know something like 60 percent of requirement then it increases 350 kg then it increases 700 kg this all depending on the your soil test and the amount of bio fertilizer you are applying it based on that we have to adjust the table in the absence of all the information idha mari namu ora kuduka vendiyad irukum ana varsha varsha ora kudutte irukanum lot of people think oru thadava fertilizer kudutta podu apra vandute irukum illa bamboo is ever growing plant you are going to continuously harvest if you want to harvest continuous appo nichiyamaga ora thodandu kudukano evlave 12000 rupees agum 12000 rupees is expenditure per acre for fertilizer 8000 rupees other agriculture inputs 10000 rupees for the farm, for the laborer 10000 for the harvesting so totally you will end up in spending 40000 rupees per acre if it is very expensive less expensive 35000 rupees per acre so idu da on the bamboo nadana first year how much to spend on this or planting material mattum nam or 1000 chedi podrona 25000 rupees ayirum adukku poga apperama cultivation cost including fertilizer manure putting all the put together 35000 rupees labor cost 15000 rupees totally 75000 rupees first year then with a drip irrigation subsidy you will get 25000 rupees so 1 lakh is our average investment in the first year definitely it is bigger than more than the normal crop but look at the second year there is no initial investment only maintenance cost 30000 rupees then when it comes to harvesting time it will be 35000 35000 every year i just next slide will show you that if you see here first year 100000 then 30000 then the 
including harvest 30,000, 30,000, 30,000, totally 4 lakh 10,000 rupees is a 10 years expenditure. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. 10 Velachal, one make a mother or silver, two hours, thirty, we can start taking it thirty tons. Then it increases to thirty five tons. Then finally, fifty around us is going to be forty ton, forty ton. Dry bamboo, not wet bamboo, dry bamboo. Even if you're going to sell it, let's let me come to the total expenditure. Now, you see, totally we have spent around four lakh ten thousand and Namag Mandrika Velachal on the three not five tons. So this divided by this is thousand three hundred and forty four rupees. Let's say 1,500 rupees a ton. That is our cost of production of 110. If you take all a 10 year expenditure put together, after that, your expenditure will be 35 to 40,000. Only 40, 40 ton is coming, which is 1,000 rupees per ton after the 10th year. Right. Market price bamboo is sold. If you're selling it as a firewood, any firewood, 4,000 rupees. Paper pulp, 5,000 rupees. Bamboo for furniture, 10,000 rupees. 12,000 rupees. Bamboo for construction is 15,000 rupees. Like this, you know, we keep increasing. Let us take 4,000 minimum lowest value for the bamboo. Then also it gives you 100%, 120% profit in the bamboo. But where do you want to grow? Bamboo need not have good soil. This is in Tiruvannamalai. This is uh, uh, a sodic soil where we planted the bamboo, grown it like this, in one year's time, you could convert into this. Yeah. Bamboo work, yella tarayin vala vakkila. Bamboo vandu uru karapam puchi mari. It's like a cockroach. Bamboo can grow anywhere. But if you need to adjust, make some adjustment, use the soil agronomy technology, and then it will be able to grow. I'm just showing you how it is done. Mr. Durai is the person who look, was looking after the Madam Budi village, this particular block. And the soil is like this. It's a black cotton soil. When you remove the soil full of calcareous material and the, for the calcareous material, foreign soil is brought from outside, a red soil mixed with uh, 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 the local cocoa peat available there, upper mouth, along with that fly ash, all three put together, it is planted. And the growth of the bamboo in two months time. Fatigation was provided. In two months time, the growth of the plant and much more closer look, nothing much, much has happened, you, you know, then in five months' time, you see them, the original soil removed from the pit is all outside. The red soil, which is here inside, with the red soil, it's able to grow to this height. In five months' time, leaves started falling. The fallen leaf corrects the pH, increases the organic carbon, reduces the pH, and also increases the, uh, you know, permeability to the water and makes it very fertile soil. The grass started coming back in 10 months' time. In 12 months' time, much more better. And I myself was there and saw and seen the bamboo. They're all like this. I just taken my hand to show you what is the size of the bamboo it's able to form. You see them all in a sodic soil. No grass was growing earlier. Now it started growing. So bamboo is such a beautiful plant. By growing, it also produces a lot of oxygen. It removes the carbon. And 50 ton of bamboo has got 23 ton of carbon because 48% of the bamboo is a carbon. And this is coming from Empathnal ton carbon dioxide, 61 tons of oxygen. And that is what is today coming as an oxygen par, oxygen parallel bars. People are today growing bamboo like this for oxygen par. This is in India, in Mangalore. And foreigners are coming and eating and going because they feel very comfortable. But if you go to Delhi, you have oxygen bars are there. And instead of oxygen bar in Delhi, you can also, you know, all the cities have got the same problem. And instead, we can go to the bamboo bamboo field. Instead of taking buying this kind of oxygen cylinder and using it, you can always do that. Today, I made first oxygen park in Chennai, Sirseri, Sipcot Industrial Estate. Le. We have made first oxygen park, and this is based on the Bhima bamboo. And you can see them. This is original ground uh, with the Google map. And after we planned it completely into this with a path walk and all that, you see that this is a path walk and through which people can walk through this and come to here and then they can walk and then go through this. This is how we made it. You see them, this original plant, what I submitted to them. And based on that, this is the original ground. Yeah, unwasted land, nothing was there. Water used to stagnate and that kind of a soil and which was filled up first. And after filling up, uh, payment is made as per the layout. And after that, the plants are planted. And after planting the bamboo, they look like this. 
this is all in the month of march and you know march end then in one month time not even one month 15 days time they started establishing very well and uh, another this is after one month it started growing and light was put and growth of the bamboo you see them in in four months time uh, this original plant the bamboo which is grown new plants new bamboo which is grown on the same lot and 12 feet plus it is which is just in two months time started shooting up and uh, similarly the bamboo was able to grow and uh, uh, much more taller in uh, to to 18 feet in five months time you know this is the way bamboo grows you see them the original bamboo versus the, the which tall which is grown uh, they keep growing very very fast the growth is nothing but they, uh, remove, they they remove the carbon and release the oxygen in the, in, the, in the atmosphere and the bamboo is going to look like this in one year's time in two years to one and a half years time is going to be a tunnel oxygen tunnel so people when you walk உள்ள நடந்து போகும்போது அவ்வளவு ஆக்சிஜன் இருக்கும் அதே ஊர்ல அதே சென்னையில பக்கத்துல வி செக் அப் த ஆக்சிஜன் லெவல் இட் இஸ் 14 15% ஆக்சிஜன் விச் ஷட் ஹேவ் பீன் अराउंड 20.9% பட் இன்சைட் தி பாம்பு இட் இஸ் 30% ஆக்சிஜன் ड्यूरिंग தி கொரோனா டைம் நமக்கு எல்லாம் ரொம்ப தேவைப்படுது இதுதான் யாரெல்லாம் अफेக்ட் ஆச்ச கொரோனால தோஸ் ஹூ अफेக்ட் பை தி கொரோனா தே नीड टू ஹேவ் மோர் ஆக்சிஜன் बिकॉज தி லங் சைஸ் இஸ் ரிடூஸ்ட் அண்ட் தே கேன் வாக் த்ரூ திஸ் தென் ஆக்சிஜன் கண்டென்ட் இஸ் गोइंग टू கோ அப் and that that is how it is going to increase the oxygen now when you come to the product commercial ultimately growing is one side if you don't sell it if there is no market there's no use of growing bamboo toothpick is one keyboard is one cycle bamboo cycle is there today many people are making in going africa they replace the steel because bamboo is six times stronger than steel please check up on the net and similarly they also making wind blade south india if you see that lot of wind blades are there bamboo fibers is used for uh, this similarly speakers bamboo speaker bamboo laptops bamboo mouse bamboo thumb drives bamboo desktop of dell computer and so many utensils are made of the bamboo bamboo is one extremely high uses and this ikea furniture is selling at the four to five times the cost in hyderabad and the mari paakumbodhu this is a bamboo lumber nam mudhal uttu mari kaamichirukkeengala adhu da and more wood wood up and up and up and adu vera kuduthirukranga density of wood is 1.2 for bamboo whereas teak is only 0.995 so it's floating in the water but this bamboo doesn't float in the water but in you know, today we are using bamboo only for making baskets ladder and huts that is the reason we don't see the market once the market is there then only the income is going to come all the products of value addition is very very high here also it does the value addition but the market volume is very small very very small cotton which i shown you this is the cotton process the original cotton bleached converted into fiber and yarn into cloth this is the parkamani shirts of bamboo parkamani shirt 100% bamboo shirt this is sold in india for 13 years different colors are there you can go to the market you can buy pants shirt everything is available but simple insisting agarbatti kuchi velinattu nu vaangichukrom we are we are importing it from abroad 80% we are importing it from abroad now so bamboo i told you like you know, it can make so many product but uh, ever lasting huge volume markets are all electricity from bamboo petrol from bamboo ethanol from bamboo bioethanol from bamboo bio cng gas from bamboo or a coal from bamboo bio coal these are all huge market nobody can satisfy that is a huge requirement so bamboo can cut 200 acre of bamboo can produce electricity of 1 megawatt every hour 24 megawatt a day and with the help of only 1 kg 1 kilowatt at the price of 2 and a half rupees cheaper than solar panel yes cheaper than solar panel solar panel uh, the money is going to abroad for somebody who supplied you the silica panel and all that but here all the money goes to your farmer inga vyavsayike and panam poi serudhu veli naadukku pogadhu adhe mari solar panel thottu paathana bayangara soda soda irukum it will be very hot 50 55 degree 60 degree centigrade bamboo leaf never comes to that heat it is only 24 25 26 28 maximum 29 30 degree centigrade so it doesn't take the heat but it reduces the heat reduces the global warming and then this is a small unit is a 5 kilowatt gasifier and a 5 kilowatt A generator it produces with a 5 kilo bamboo this is 500 kilowatt little bigger 
then we have one megawatt, five megawatt, 10 megawatt, all available. So 200 acres will produce one megawatt every hour and gives you byproduct called charcoal. This charcoal is so expensive, you can make many things out of the bamboo. This will be able to give you the cost of energy plantation, electricity become free. You know, either one the E road la water the website on the Patanga, well in the Karangala on the Patanga. Foreigners from South Africa, they came, they saw, they went back to South Africa. In South Africa, they started making the first national demonstration of bamboo-based power project. Now comes the bamboo converted into oil. Bamboo also does not have oil by itself, but you have to go through a process called fissure top reaction, by which, for which you have to do a gasification. Aparama gasify panadha kaparama is converted into oil. When you convert into oil, it will also give you charcoal. It will also give you non-condensable gas. But taking this technology further by a company called Shell. Shell is a big company, multinational company in India. And uh, they have developed a technology called IH2, where four kilo of bamboo, if you put it inside, through hydropyrolysis, converted into uh, one kilo charcoal and one liter petrol or diesel, gasoline or jet fuel or diesel, or even kerosene, we can make it. So this is the latest advanced technology. And the what is the water and gas comes, they convert into hydrogen, the same hydrogen pumped back into the into this hydropyrolysis process. So nothing is comes out of this. This is a plant, either Bangalore or Bangalore or plant. What they have in the shell, and they are able to use it. And they are going to go for a bigger operations now. They are the one people who have got their patented technology, and they are very much they tested the bamboo. Also, they have the bristles with them now. Now, like this, you know, we can keep on talking so many products. Ethanol is another product. Today we are blending only 5% in the petrol, whereas Brazil is blending 85% ethanol in the petrol, which means ethanol maximum or petrol is small. Now, we are not able to do it because we don't get it. But bamboo has got a lot of lignocellulose material, which could be converted into bioethanol because of the high quantity of cellulose and hemicellulose. When you test this, you see a lot of fermentable sugars available. In the fermentable sugar, either when we fermentation, the microorganisms, it's able to get converted to petrol. Again, four kilos of bamboo will be able to give that. The process is simple. Initially, you have to you know, do a chemical pretreatment. And after the pretreatment, it is uh, converted into starch by way of enzymes. The enzymes uh, convert the starch into sugar. Then the sugar is fermented with the help of microorganism to convert into into ethanol. Simple. So one four kg bamboo can produce 1.2 liter ethanol and one acre can produce 10,000 liter ethanol. Today, sugarcane is the only thing which gives us. Karambu namur la vandu naapudu tannu karambu varudu. Naapudu tannu karambu la four tons of sugar. And the four tons of sugar namur tannu kudu yadu oru 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 nanu thambudu liter ethanol thang varudu. And the ethanol the Molasses learned, one to ten molasses learned. So, either uh, Kupoi, number technology, Muli Lama, number president upon Poet, Finland Lapoi, why it on the, they are now doing a project now in Bark Petroleum, in Numaligar, in Assam, where it is available, large quantity. Now, yeah, sugar can yeah, bamboo upon no, sugar can the Irkumba Irkpon and Lakapinga. When sugar can is available, why should you do that? Now, because sugar cane gives you 450 liter, I told you, directly molasses available. In USA, they don't have sugar cane, but they have more of starch. Europe, they have starch like corn, wheat, grain, and the rice and potatoes. So all that they convert into sugar, sugar into this. But in bamboo, there is no starch or sugar. It is only cellulose. Cellulose, well, cellulose into starch, starch into sugar, sugar into this. In the technology, forget about it. What is important? How many liter we can get from one acre for a farmer? For, so farmer gets more money. This is a fine letter with the current lender. Maize lender, moon crop, three crops leads to 3,000 liter. 1,000 liter per acre per year per crop, 3,000 liter. Bamboo gives you 10,000 liter. Whether Ninga Pandinglo, whether you do it or whether I do it, somebody else is going to do it in future. Already started by Bharat Petroleum in Numaligar, where the bamboo is growing abundant. Now we should see it started growing and we can start supplying once the bamboo is available, like a sugar factory, all these factories will come and do that. So the, today what is happening, we have shortage of material because of which we are not able to do it. Because the agriculture knowledge is not available. Bamboo also done for a CNG gas, 350 acre can produce CNG gas. This is a plant in Pune where uh, um, um, this is converted, all biomass is converted into this. 
and uh, mr gonglekar he is able to do this into a convert this into in 24 hours he is able to convert and it has been sold in the front itself through the bank gas bank cng gas bank it's going on for last 3 4 years it's such a wonderful technology it should reach all the people it can be bamboo it could be other agriculture based anything it's available they can do that and 4 kg bamboo makes 1 kg gas and similarly one acre can make 4000 to 5000 kg per acre per year one me vanda ibella vanda why complicate so much cut the bamboo chip the bamboo replace the bamboo for a coal simplest thing either torrify the bamboo or a convert into charcoal like this or chip the bamboo and give it today india use you seeing 820 million tons of coal every year idile 200 million ton 200 million ton we are importing it and the 200 million ton if you want to replace it with the bamboo you need only 200 million ton of bamboo 200 million ton of bamboo is equal to 50 lakh acres where are we 50 lakh acres the bamboo requirement just to replace coal nothing else and that to only imported coal not indian coal the government of india already given you know notice supreme court has given a notice all these people who are using coal should reduce it by 7.5% emission how do you reduce emission the moment you replace the bam coal with any wood including bamboo emission is reduced because the emission from bamboo or wood it's not considered as a emission okay now dalmia cement is started using it you might be asking yaar sir pandranga enga pandranga they started using it throughout india they started first with assam meghalaya now they are doing everywhere including trichy trichy we are going to plant 40000 plants for them in 40 acres uh, in the mine land and then further we are going to increase the area over a cement factory ko or or 10% if they want to mix it they need 1000 acres of bamboo if they want to go up to 50% There is five thousand acres of bamboo, five thousand acres. People in Tirunal Valley, they can always grow it, give it to Thalai to uh, cement factories. And there are there are if you go further to Sathu, then another factory is available. Tichy, there are at least five, six, seven uh, cement factories are the bigger ones. So like this, we can many people are there. Why they are doing it is to reduce the carbon dioxide emission. The international emission of carbon dioxide per ton of cement is six hundred and twelve kg of carbon dioxide. India little less five seventy nine. Dalmia cements is little more less one one hundred kg less four ninety three. And Anglodia uh, Dalmia cement in the northeastern operation Assam and Meghalaya is only three thirty half of the international. Now they are saying let's become hundred percent zero twenty thirty. In ten years time they want to become now following this everybody is following it like Ultra Tech, I J K Cement, Edelberg. Every one is growing and doing it. இது கூட வேண்டாம் நம்ம பக்கத்துல அங்கங்க கரும்பு கரும்பு தொழிற்சாலை இருக்குது அவங்க ஆறு மாசம் ரன் பண்றாங்க தே ஆர் ரன்னிங் only for 6 months and whatever money they earn they are running for the whole year now bamboo can make them to run full year what they are doing today they take up sugar cane convert into juice and the juice is converted to sugar and whatever waste available bagas they are converting into energy electricity and giving to the national grid this is what the factory is doing it so money is coming from the sugar money is coming from the energy energy is more profitable than sugar seringla current la than nere pona ungalku appo in the 6 maasathukku mela enna pandranga na factory moodi vechiranga they don't run the factory for 6 months the salary is given interest is there depreciation is there now i said bamboo put bamboo how much 20000 acre of sugar cane field for 6 months 2000 acre of bamboo is sufficient that will run for next 6 months no sugar from there but instead it will produce the uh, the electricity and electricity will make them profitable so instead of sugar cane for the 6 months the next 6 months they'll get the bamboo they'll dump it this is what should be done and so bamboo is going to be the next future technology to replace electricity bio cng petrol electricity and ethanol how much area we need or how much quantity we need 136 million ton only for bamboo whenever we are going to reach zero maybe another 20 30 years not now not tomorrow but then it will start 136 million ton of needed for bio cng gas and 190 million ton is needed for 10% or 20% bioethanol production and electricity for for again 10% electricity from renewable energy 350 million ton we need and like this if you put all put together 908 million ton for the coal replacement 
total namak evlo venumna 2400 million ton of bamboo needed i converted this also into again area evlo area la podanum the area comes to 600 lakh acres sir sugar cane today 12 lakh acres in india excess production we produce sugar at 33 rupees international prices 2020 22 rupees so today sugar lobby is the biggest lobby in political setup with only 12.12 to 12.5 million to 12.5 uh, uh, lakh acres now look at the bamboo bamboo is going to really take over this so bamboo the next disruptive technology to dominate the future please believe me bamboo is going to be the next commercially viable crop less labor not affected by the global warming not uh, does not need so much of water and uh, the market is growing you can't believe now how cell phone came and replaced the phone how amazon replaced we are buying everything from the house how how uh, uber is able to remove the taxis now and then auto rickshaws or patanjali could do that bamboo is the next one to dominate the future in a big way yes it's going to happen now last slide where i'm going to tell you what is the money difference between a bamboo sugarcane and a cotton and eucalyptus what all things is needed for this yield is 40 ton sugarcane 35 ton average um, cotton even highest on 2 tons even it comes now all put together you see this what is the profit 1 lakh rupee per acre sugarcane 37000 rupees 50000 rupees eucalyptus is 30000 rupees you can put in any type of soil bamboo you can put in mine soil acidic soil alkaline soil you know waste soil or not only in the sand you cannot grow the bamboo or only on the rock you can grow the bamboo sugar cane needs a fertile soil cotton needs a black cotton soil so all these possible and this is what the future of bamboo bamboo is such a wonderful plant i'm very happy in your cereal so many cereals you have done so far and in that you have included bamboo as a one of the crop now um bamboo into also produces vermi compost this is a vermi compost the leaf which is falling can be used the same place inside put the leaf together within uh, one or two months it will be able to convert into manure sieve it and sell it that's the uh, beauty of the bamboo bamboo can really really can give you from the leaf which is falling four tons of leaf is falling per acre that also money bamboo is cut that's also money bamboo is uh, giving oxygen and carbon dioxide that's also oxygen per pass that's also money everywhere money but for which you have to plant only once what is lacking today is the knowledge agriculture knowledge knowledge of cultivation i'm very happy i'm thankful to joe for calling me to come and give a lecture romba sandoshanga ninga koopidunala vanda neriya per vandu ingala vandu tamil la vandu neriya per vandala neriya tamil la pesama aangilathula pesna panichukom irundhalo enoda english romba tough a irundhirukka i think all of you would have understood and uh, thank you thank you very much i'm open to the question now Uh, excellent presentation doctor a very wonderful session uh, detailed information you have shared and uh, i am thankful to uh, uh, you for this uh, session and this is now interaction time and uh, i request our uh, uh, members uh, who participants to raise their questions and uh, get clarified thank you hello yes sir hello hello yes please sir i am mr kaja nazimuddin deputy director of agriculture retired i already met you in the zoom meeting yes sir one month back yes sir thank you sir sir i am very fortunate enough to meet you again <laughs> and also i directed the islamic voice people at bangalore to plant bamboo in their farm i but i directed the islamic voice your magazine excellent 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 i'm by i'm fortunate sir so uh, there people approached me yes sir about the cultivation of both bamboo and sandalwood okay so i just direct dr bharathi nambi at hosur which is near to your place bangalore so please meet him and now they are mingling with me off and So very I am, nice, sir. Very I, nice. At the outset, I much very thankful to you for your help to the Islamic Voice magazine. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Again, your Bima uh, variety of bamboo is yes, a sir. hybrid variety or hybrid variety. It is a high yielding or hybrid. Sir, actually, it is not a hybrid. It is a high yielding variety. Hybrid is a cross between two parents. Oh, yes. 
It is not hybrid. Sir, it's a high yielding variety which are selected over the open pollinated population in Northeast. Then I brought everything to down South India and grown it in a different climatic condition, then selected one as the Bhima bamboo. Sir, is it possible for the companion crop of a sandalwood with bamboo? Very well, very well, very well. Very well. See, uh, what happens is sandalwood is a parasitic plant. And yes, bamboo, uh, sorry, uh, sandalwood is a parasitic plant. Bamboo roots helps them to uh, take the nutrient, pass it on to them. So in the sandalwood crop, if you put a border of bamboo as a border, that's more than sufficient. They'll be able to, you know, help the bam, uh, this um, sandalwood to uh, give the nutrient to them. But you know, in a panano, you should keep, plant them little away from the bamboo because bamboo creates a lot of shade in the on the bottom. So little, you should be away. Bamboo roots travels to 20 feet from the plant. So even if the sandalwood tree is 20 feet or 15 feet away from the plant, still they'll be able to support the growth of the um, sandalwood tree. Sir, what is the connection between bamboo flowering and the drought? Sir. Um, bamboo flowers once in 30, 40 years, depending on the genetic age. Now, when they flower, uh, the seeds keep falling. And then once the seed is falling, the plant will die. So there are two things are happening. The seeds, the rat population increases. That creates a famine. The reason is the or, 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 or village of 1,000 rats is there eating the seed. They become first cycle itself 10,000 rats. The 10,000, the second cycle, they become 1 lakh rats. So 1 lakh rat will go and after the seed is over, they go to the granary, they go to the field, they eat away everything. Because of which the bamboo, uh, the bamboo flowering is followed by a famine. Not drought, famine. But what happens, the fallen bamboo, they release all the carbon dioxide so far, which is sequestering. So that is going to change the climate change will be there. The climate change in Northeast is heavy rain, landslide. In other parts of the India, it's a drought. So basically, if you go for a non-flowering species like bamboos or bamboos, sorry, bamboos or balkova, bamboos or vulgaris, um, or uh, dendrocolum uh, stocksia, and a couple of other species of their bamboos and newtons, all these doesn't flower and die. So animal putana, the problem or other. Why the bamboo rice is very costly in our village also? Yes, sir. 800 rupees per kilo. Why? Because they flower only once in 20, 30 years, sir. Oh, yeah. So the seeds are very costly. Highly the nutritious. nutritious. Highly nutritious and good for diabetic. It has got good calcium. Nutritious. So if you get the rice of that, don't eat the entire quantity for yourself, but then you take one or two spoons, mix it along with the normal rice, especially when you're grinding mukma or idli, dosa, something, you know, along with it, mix it and grind it. So that will be able to add the uh, minerals and vitamins which are available in the bamboo seeds. Because as a total bamboo rice, when you cook it, it's going to be too much, too much of a nutrition for a human body. Jerry, in the forest fire, bamboo plays a vital role Correct. Very true. What happens is bamboo, when you don't harvest, bamboo actually, I'll tell you from the beginning, bamboo start growing to a full height in one month, but it remains for six to seven years without, as a green color. After seven years, they become a dry bamboo or yellow color bamboo. The top of the surface has got a lot of silica. Now, if you don't harvest the bamboo in the first seven years, the dried bamboo will scratch each other and that will create the fire. So that fire is going to be a problem. And that's how the fire, the bamboo is creating the, 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 the fire. Now, in a cultivated bamboo, this doesn't happen at all. Yeah, na? Bamboo, when it is green in color, we are keep harvesting the bamboo. We harvest the bamboo when it is green. And because of which, two green bamboo will never catch fire. Two dry bamboo will catch fire in the forest. What happens is bamboo is not harvested because of the reserve, uh, reserve forest policy. And the dried bamboo, which are 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, all that will scratch each other, creates a fire. Otherwise, in a cultivated bamboo, this never happens. 
because we harvest bamboo maximum five years. Aprama within that it is harvested. Now we all recommend them to harvest in two years, three years time. Thank you, Dr. Paraji Nambi, for your technical setup. <laughs> I am very thankful for your technical expertise. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank ராமச்சந்திர <laughs> அதாவது ஃபுட்டாக யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் நீங்கள் ஃபுட்டுனா என்னென்ன விதத்தில் சுகருக்கு யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் நீங்கள் சுகரில் என்ன விதத்தில் அது வந்து ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுது சார் ஃபுட்டாக சொல்லும் போது சார் இதில் இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த கிரெயினில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ஸ்டார்ச்சும் அதே மாதிரி பேம்பூவில் குருத்து இருக்குது பேம்பூ ஷூட்ஸ்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அது வந்து தரையிலேருந்து முளைச்சி வந்துக்கிட்டே இருக்குது அந்த பேம்பு குருத்து வளரும் போது அது ஒரு நாளைக்கு ஒன்றாட்டி ஒன்றாட்டி வளர்ந்து மேலே போயிட்டே இருக்குது ஒரு மூணு நாலு நாளைக்குள்ள அது வந்து ஒரு அஞ்சு அடிக்குள்ள இருக்கும் அதுக்குள்ள கட் பண்ணி எடுத்துடணும் எடுத்துட்டா அதுல அது வந்து எக்கச்சக்கமான ஃபைபர் இருக்கு டைஜஸ்டபிள் ஃபைபர் விச் இஸ் எசென்சியல் ஃபார் ஸ்லோயிங் டவுன் அவர் டைஜஸ்டன் ப்ராசஸ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் காட் குட் ப்ரோட்டீன் அரௌண்ட் அரௌண்ட் எயிட்டீன் பர்சன்ட் டு நைன்டீன் பர்சன்ட் ப்ரோட்டீன் இருக்குதுல அது போக கால்சியம் நிறைய இருக்குதுல பாம்புல சோ இந்த காலத்தினால பாம்பு இஸ் ஏபிள் டு ஹெல்ப் த ஸ்கெலிட்டன் as well as uh, you know it's diabetic ku romba nalladhu solli ellarum vaangi ubeykiranga adhe mari bamboo oda ilaiyum eduthume adhil juice eduthu and the juice kudikiranga adha tea kuda po use panna aarambichirukanga adhu poga neenga sonna mari bamboo oda seed seed liyum and the vedai liyum appo thootukku minerals idhu moongil vande arisiya vida arisi ki 24 chromosome number moongilukku 72 chromosome number adoda moonu madangu adhil irukku hexaploid ah irukku idhu அப்போ இந்த டிப்ளாய்டா இருக்கக்கூடிய ரைஸ் அதுக்கு அந்த ஜீனமுக்கு இந்த ஜீனமுக்கு ரொம்ப தொடர்பு இருக்குது ஆனா மல்டிபிள் லெவல் இருக்குது குரோமோசம்னால இதோட கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் நியூட்ரிஷன்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி ஹை எஸ்பெஷலி இந்த மினரல்ஸ் அண்ட் அண்ட் மைக்ரோ நியூட்ரியன்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி ஹை ஸோ அதனால பேம்பு இஸ் ஏபிள் டு டூ தம் குட் குட் டு தியூமன் பீங் இன் அடிஷன் டு த கால்சியம் இட் இஸ் விச் இஸ் எக்ஸஸ் இன் த பாம்பு பிளான்ட் இதனால தான் பாத்தீங்கன்னா யானை வந்து வந்து சாப்பிட்டுட்டே இருக்கும் இலைங்களை ஏனைக்குள்ள <laughs> <laughs> and because of which they need it so goat everything they eat because of the presence of calcium and today bamboo is coming as a fodder crop nammala vandu iniki marathukku da vetti irukrom maratha vekkumboda 160 chedi da or acre ku podrom anal ipo philippines la oru thiru vandu idha vandu paira adhaadu forage crop ah valaka poranga avangalukku 2500 la rendu 3000 chedi or acre podanum tea mari bush mari valathu vetti vetti nam oorle epdi karuvala pandraangalo adha mari pananum like a curry leaf plant should be grown and it be cut coil petti pakkam paathina ungalku theriyum unga pakkam alla and karuvapula maramaa irukku adha ella cheriya dhaan irukum seri adha maari moongila cheriya valaka poranga sir ipo seri ipo neenga sonnadhu romba sandosham enakku oru chinna clarification vendum sir solunga sir coil petti area vandu black cotton sir area aama sir inga vandu idha cultivate panna mudiyuma adhu eppadi tharaala panna mudiyum sir eppadi solunga tharaala panna mudiyum ipo moongil valakkuradhukku வளர்க்கிறோம் 
அதை மண்ணை போட்டு உருவாக்கி ரெடி பண்ணி பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறோம் அப்போ கோழிப்பட்டியில வளர்த்தவங்க இருக்காங்க வளர்ந்துட்டு இருக்க மரம் இருக்குது எங்களோட ரிலேஷன்ஸே கொஞ்சம் பேர் இருக்கிறாங்க அவங்களும் போட்டிருக்காங்க வீட்டு பக்கம் எல்லாம் போட்டிருக்காங்க சார் இது அட்ரஸ் எல்லாம் தர பாருங்க வந்து <laughs> 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 In the top, uh, you know, uh, one feet, one and a half feet, it will be cracking. And because of the cracking, the roots will get cut. So that to be avoided, we, to, we should give a, a summer irrigation or mulching. But this only needed for the first two years, sir. Aparama, Dharala, it will be growing as a good crop. Now, when you look at the alkaline soil, you can correct it with the black cotton soil. That's why you have to do it. But you have to do it with a good crop. That's why you have to do it with a good crop. அங்க சவலையும் சேர்ந்து இருக்கு சில இடங்கள் இருக்கு சரி 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 நான் உங்களை காண்டாக்ட் பண்ணும் போது நீங்க ஒரு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணா நல்லா இருக்கும் கண்டிப்பா சார் சந்தோஷமா Thank you, Ramachandran sir, for your good interaction, very useful information we could get. அடுத்ததாக I request Mr. D. Palanisamy to interact. Palanisamy is from Mumbai. He is a retired general manager from the Canara Bank. Palani Sir, welcome. Sir, welcome. Sir, welcome. Welcome, sir. I don't know if you have a PhD in the MSC. I don't know if you have a PhD in the MSC. I don't know if you have a PhD in the tissue culture. Uh, starting uh, DP, DP. I don't know if you have a PhD in the MSC. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think uh, after that, uh, uh, college went to college, but I think this is the first time I am seeing you. Like, right? எனிமேஜ <laughs> right from computer mouse keyboard edhu ellame solreenga but ye indalukku popularize aagala edhaadhu government initiative iruka illa vaadanmai thurai nama departments edhaadhu idhila involved aagraangala enna neraya lands vandu use pannaam neraya kedaik barren land ah but bamboo la vandu ivlo items irukku ivlo demand irukku still we are importing from other countries ye idhu indalukku marketing illa enna reason ga அப்புறமா <laughs> ஒண்ணு ரெண்டாவது இதுக்கு வந்து எப்படி வளர்க்கணும் என்ன பண்ணணும் யாருக்குமே தெரியாது சார் அதனாலதான் நான் வந்து பயிர்ல எல்லாம் வேலை பார்த்துட்டு ஒரு லாஸ்ட் பதினஞ்சு வருஷமா மூங்கில பயிர் பண்றது படிக்க 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 நான் ஐ பிகம் இன்டர்நேஷனல் கன்சல்டன்ட் நான் வந்து அவ்வளவு ஒண்ணும் பெருசா ஒண்ணும் பண்ணல ஆனா இந்த கொஞ்சம் பண்ணதே யாருமே பண்ணாம இருக்காங்க ஒண்ணுக்கு <laughs> 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 
people are coming and asking throughout the world but how are you able to identify this crop sir the accident da sir adha vidhi ingirudhu enakku therinjala ulla varala dai sir na poi solla virumbala enakku na vandu 85 vagana pile vela paathirukken appo moongil nu oruthu vandu dr kumar velan principal chief consultant of forest irundanga r&d la irundaru appo chauk la na nariya vela paathirundhen சவுக்குலர் ஸ்டெரைல் சவுக்குல பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தேன் அவர் பார்த்துட்டு பார்த்து இதே இதுல பண்ணலாமே அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சொல்லும் போது நான் எடுத்து பண்ண ஆரம்பிக்க போய் தென் ஐ சோ ஒன் ஒன்றரை வடி வளரக்கூடிய செடி உலகத்துல கிடையாதுன்னு பார்த்துட்டு பாருங்க ஐ சரி இதுல ஏதோ இருக்கு நமக்கு தெரியல இருந்து பதினஞ்சு வருஷங்கள்ல ஆரம்பிச்சேன் இன்னைக்கு கம்பெனி லைக் ஷெல் இஸ் வித் அஸ் டாடா ட்ரஸ்ட் இஸ் வித் அஸ் அண்ட் யூனோ பிர்லா இஸ் தேர் யூனோ பிக் பிக் கம்பெனிஸ் ஆர் தேர் பட் எங்க கம்பெனி ஒரு பெரிய கம்பெனி கிடையாது சின்ன கம்பெனி தான் ஆனா விஷயம் தான் பெருசு and the adukaga they all coordinating interacting and they are giving and taking the information idu vandu ipo ipo da initial stage a irukku eppadi karumbu oru oru 180 varshathukku munnala oru karumbu sugar party kuda kedaiyadu onne onnu da modha modhala vandhudhu aska angra edathila so the, it came in first place aska that's the reason today also in many places we call oh, sugar as aska okay now today we have 550 to 580 sugar mills are there in india because it took 180 years to come to the stage bamboo is started only today so another over four or five generation to go to come to a status of a sugarcane sugarcane is become a commercial cash crop bamboo is not it but potentially bamboo is three times superior than sugarcane because i am also working parallelly in sugarcane ipo la 30 years i have been working ella sugar factory panni kuduthirukken theriyum ana enna na lack of knowledge sir one is lack of knowledge and lack of market market vandu nam adathula enna pandrom velinaatla vaangi vaangi pandrom illaya we don't have a factory factory karana ellarum ketu paathutta avanga enna solranga inga moongile illaya we don't have enough moongil even paper mill they could not get enough bamboo so that's the reason they went for eucalyptus that's the reason they went for uh, uh, suba bull uh you uh, then you know cashirina all this have come only because shortage of bamboo today there much more shortage so because nobody cultivated the bamboo so that that's the reason i said in the agriculture forum when i spoke about this everybody will come to know that bamboo is a cultivable crop karmu mari valakala karmu mari valakum bodu enna la pannala adhu da i i do my time is only one hour i've tried to cover right from cultivation some amount of genetics some amount of application i i talk every subject for hours together well it is very extensive cover is really wonderful coverage was wonderful really the thank you sir very nice idla ini or idu government support irukkingla na ipo ipo kudukanga sir adavadhu or rendu varshama they started giving good importance to bamboo and they have given a budget allocation of 1290 crore rupees from the central government and that will be 60% and a 40% from this so total around 3000 crores mana pana id available ana yaarukum correct use panna theriyala adha prachaniye yaarukum use panna theriyala ena idu vande eppadi valakanum therilla yaar kudukanum therilla vyavsayikku force panni kuduka vekkranga and one la sugar factory ke theriyamaatinga innum avanga 6 maasam chumma kadakranga panal la last la podu vyavsayik pana kodukka mudiyala they have machinery they have everything but they are not able to use it so they simply can grow in a waste land next to the sugar pact sugar cane they can do that but this information is not at reached the people now so there is a huge gap between the user and the bamboo it is through government tha i think Yes, government can do a lot of things, sir. Very true, sir. Government can do, but as an individual, I've done all this. I not bought even one rupee as a, you know, uh, any subsidy or any grant from the government or any foreign. It's all my own money. We spend on this and we develop. But today, slowly there is a recognition. I see the central ministers are coming and meeting me here. From the Delhi, they come down here. The the uh, the MSME ministers are coming and seeing here. There are ministers from Kaveri. Uh, development uh, this thing also coming and seeing us and it's slowly it's happening mr nitin kadkare has seen this so you know all these are happening slowly but it's not penetrating the markets as it should have been it will happen sir jo ve kutu kutu ena pesu vechu thana poda da jo jo even i think the tamil nadu government they called farm uh, graduates for some discussion i think jo also jo plus gono share the knowledge ber irundhu poyirukken indha team irund i think right now some people are there i think they are giving very valuable inputs i think this particular item also 
your session also they can take up with the uh, tamil nadu government particularly i think things may if it reaches their ears yes, definitely it will be taken care ama right? sir ama sir ama sir it will happen sir i'm just hoping to happen and uh, there are good people are there lot of good people are there they are all trying for this and uh, it's a matter of time sir now in the parallel i'm making the market ready the factory is ready everybody to be there you know farmers are ready agano technocrats in therinjirukono then they can do that or any other other than gromor any other company is doing this same type of work sir illa sir enna pandranga na bits and pieces pandranga sir avanga vandu verum tissue kattu mattum pandranga illa somebody is doing um, you know cultivation mattum pandranga na enna panna as a holistic i i work on the species the yes, species paathittu adum breeding panikiren tissue culture panikiren cultivation ku ready panikiren then applications ku i am supporting lot of companies sir okay we are exporting uh, happening also ama sir adha main business sir engalukku i export to 20 different countries thank you thank you and uh, water la vande salt water area la kuda idu use panna mudiyengala ama sir panna mudiyum sir ipo na vande kach la panni irukken sir indha mari salt water ingiranal yield la edha difference irukka sir and manna in the level of ec and level of uh, you know the salt potu irukku Kutch is one of the worst area, actually, among the lot of soil. And in, in, since you are there in Bombay, you know, Gujarat, you have the problem of the salt and the salt affected areas. And I, then, I worked in Gujarat for two years. I wow. had Mr. Kutch, Bhavnagar, all, all the areas here. Sir, it's, it's growing near Bhavnagar. It's almost two years. It's a pain on the background. Okay. okay. Sir, so, bamboo is highly adapted plant. It's like a cockroach. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. we we are not utilize the best out of the bamboo we should you know we are, we, we are not see the adha vera onnum illa bamboo highly adapted in the evolution la bamboo is evolved 1 million year back namma mattum india nammala karappa pochi indiki evolve evolution ni stop aachido adha mari appume bamboo munji pochi na they become highly adapted human being are still even you are evolving in the fossil bamboo leaf is bamboo leaf cockroach is cockroach but human being was monkey they see image la so it's a highly adapted plant only thing what we know about bamboo is the fastest growing in the area aam sir padukirappa keela bamboo irundhuna nee kaalai lendirikirappa already mele irukum bamboo only that much we know about bamboo otherwise kaatla valarradhu neenga sonna mari awareness kediyadhu first thing in my opinion nam agri graduates ke in the ஒர்க்ஸ்ட் <laughs> <laughs> last day, almost every day we are conducting some sessions even last week also we had some discussion about uh, uh, some some uh, item that time we were discussing about uh, you oh really sir uh, oh my god we made a request to joe why don't you bring him also for a session uh, thank you joe <laughs> you brought <laughs> our uh, great bar <laughs> thank you sir thank, thank you very much uh, thank you palli sir sir for your good interaction adutadaga i invite uh, mrs tenmuli alagiri sami to Uh, uh, interact. Then, Molly, please. Doctor, welcome. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Now, then, Molly, now, I am your classmate. Oh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Good job. You know, you guys are all of us. You know, you guys are all of us. Oh my God. Ah, I know. You guys are all of us. Ten years back, in horticulture, there was a horticulture bamboo mission. Is it? Is it? Yes, sir. ஹார்டிகல்ச்சர்ல பாம்பு மிஷன் உண்டு என்னால வந்து ஃபார்மர்ஸ் கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ண ஒரு ஏக்கர் 10 இயர்ஸ் பேக் நான் சொல்றேன் ஒரு ஏக்கரோ ரெண்டு ஏக்கரோ பாம்பு நட்டா அந்த பாம்புவை எப்படி மார்க்கெட் பண்றது அத என்னால சொல்லவே முடியல என்ன அப்போ என்ன பண்றதுனா எல்லா பேப்பர் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியுமே வந்து யூகலிப்டஸ்க்கு மாறிட்டாங்க பாம்பு யூஸ் ஆகாது பாம்பு வந்து ஒரு கோலாதான் யூஸ் பண்ண முடியும் ரொம்ப சீப்பா தான் எடுக்கிறாங்க அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி மார்க்கெட்டிங் போயிருச்சு கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணாததுனாலயே ரொம்ப நாளா வந்து ஹார்டிகல்ச்சர்ல பாம்பு மிஷன் இருக்கு சார் எனக்கு எப்படி அதுல ரொம்ப ஆர்வம் வந்தது அப்படின்னா நம்ம வந்து ஜெயின் இரிகேஷன் பாக்குறதுக்காக ஜல்கான் போயிருந்தோம் 
அவங்க வந்து ரெண்டு ரோ நெருக்கி பேம்பு நடுறாங்க நடுவுல ஒரு பெரிய ட்ரெஞ்சு வெட்டுறாங்க சார் என்ன இந்த பேம்புல இருந்து அந்த லீவ்ஸ் கொட்டுது இல்லையா பேம்பு வந்து நிறைய லீவ் ஷெட் பண்ணக்கூடிய ஒரு ஒரு ட்ரீ இல்லையா அப்போ அந்த ட்ரெஞ்ச ஃபில் பண்ணின உடனே அது கொட்டையில் ஆயிடுது சோ ஃபர்டிலிட்டி இல்லாத சாயில் அதாவது வந்து அன்கல்டிவபிள் லேண்ட் வந்து கல்டிவபிள் லேண்ட் ஆக்குறதுக்கு அவங்க வந்து இதை யூஸ் பண்றாங்க ஜெயின்ல பேம்பு கல்டிவேஷன் பேம்பு வந்து எல்லா சாயிலையும் வரும் நீங்க சொன்ன மாதிரி அவங்களும் சொன்னாங்க இது வந்து ரொம்ப நல்லா இருந்துச்சு ஏன்னா அன்கல்டிவபிள் லேண்ட வந்து கல்டிவபிள் லேண்ட் ஆக்குறதுக்கு ஆனா இதுல பேம்புல நான் பேஸ் பண்ண பிரச்சனை வந்து ஒண்ணு அப்ப மார்க்கெட்டிங்கே இல்ல சார் என்ன ரெண்டாவது வந்து பேம்பு வந்து ஆடு மாடெல்லாம் சாப்பிடும் இதுக்கு ஸ்பெஷலா வேலி தான் போடணும் அப்படி பேரனா இருக்கிற லேண்ட்ல பேம்பு நட முடியாதுங்கிற மாதிரி ஃபார்மர்ஸ் சொல்லிட்டாங்க நான் வந்து உங்களை பர்சனலா நான் ஒரு பேம்புக்குன்னு ஒரு பெரிய மீட்டிங் ஆர்கனைஸ் பண்ணி மதுரையில உங்களை கூப்பிட்டேன் நீங்க வரையன் அக்செப்ட் பண்ணீங்க எனக்கு <laughs> 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 ரொம்ப <laughs> 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 ஆனா மீட்டிங்க்கு சகாயம் சார் எல்லாம் வந்தாரு என்னால மார்க்கெட்டிங் வந்து எப்பவுமே வந்து ஒரு நியூ கிராப் சொல்றோம்னா நம்ம மார்க்கெட்டிங் சொல்லணும் ஒரு அஷ்யூர் பண்ணி கொடுக்கணும் அத செய்ய முடியலங்கிறதுனால அதுக்கப்புறம் என்னால பேம்பு எடுத்துட்டு போக முடியல பேம்பு நடுறேன்னு சொல்றவங்க எல்லாம் அப்புறம் சவுக்குக்கு ரெக்கமெண்ட் பண்ணி சவுக்குக்கு போயிட்டாங்க நம்ம சவுக்க வந்து ஒண்ணும் சொல்ல வேண்டியது இல்லை அவங்களே வித்துப்பாங்க அப்படி போயிட்டாங்க அவங்க <laughs> 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 ஒரு நாளைக்கு பத்து ஏக்கர் வேணும் இப்ப அவங்களே என்ன கூப்பிட்டு பேசினாங்க போடுறதுக்கு சொல்லிட்டு இருக்காங்க வள்ளியூர் பக்கத்துல ஏற்பாடு ஊர்ல இருக்காங்க thank you thank you mr thenmuli thank you mr thenmuli for your interaction thank you thank doctor you. for thank your you. information and neighbor idile ivunga mr thenmuli is a retired deputy director from the department of agriculture in between she worked in the horticulture department also yes and yes yes uh, yes the assistant director i think right so right we were right. colleagues and uh, so avanga okay. ketta information ipo chat box la one or two participants ketirukanga the uh, வந்து <laughs> Yes sir, they are the chief of the IS officer. 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 Our managers would be going and seeing that now sir. Okay. And uh, one Mr. Rahul has asked some clarifications. Uh, may I ask Mr. Rahul to interact? Mr. Rahul, please. Uh, Agil and others, please wait. Next, next. Hello sir. Yes. Hello. Hello. This is Rahul, Rahul sir from Nagpur. Yes, Mr. Rahul. 
सर आई वॉन्ट टू हैव सम ब्रीफ टिप्स ऑन कल्टिवेशन ऑफ बैम्बू ऑन ब्लैक कॉटन सॉइल एंड वी हैव एक्सट्रीम समर टेम्परेचर हियर इन विदर्भ सो हाउ कैन वी गो ऑन इन सच क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन फॉर बॉम्बू कल्टिवेशन Yes, I know. Uh, we have given lot of plants this year. Actually, we received uh, order for around seven uh, lakhs bamboo plant to be supplied to Vidarbha and other areas in Maharashtra. I'm yeah. I'm giving to the government uh, through the bamboo mission. You you have got a state bamboo mission, so through which uh, we are supplying bamboo board is there through which we are giving it. And your soil is good soil, but provided you have water, Nagpur area surrounding area, you some of the places don't have sufficient water. Uh, but if you have water. black cotton is one of the good soil to be grown for the bamboo because the water holding capacity is very good bamboo itself will increase the water holding capacity but the black cotton soil also is going to hold some amount of water for them and you have enough enough and a moment of sunlight which is which is which is extremely very important for bamboo to grow so there are many clients are growing in and around bamboo uh, uh, nagpur in, including chandrapur and then uh, there is a factory which is uh, near um, chandrapur uh, was was using bamboo as a energy uh, for why another bamboo biomass power project they are also using it they are also growing it there are many people are growing in and around nagpur we can very well do that there is also one more factory coming a very big factory coming up to produce bio refineries like you know bio steel gas bio petrol in um, near to nagpur सर एनी स्पेसिफिक वैरायटी व्हिच वी कैन कल्टीवेट हियर इन एट अ स्मॉल स्केल फॉर फार्मर्स ओके देयर आर थ्री स्पीशीज व्हाट यू कैन ग्रो नाउ नंबर 1 कुड बी द द बांबूसा बल्कोवा द सेकंड स्पीशीज कुड बी बांबूसा टुल्डा द थर्ड स्पीशीज कुड बी बांबूसा न्यूटन्स ऑल दिस थ्री स्पीशीज इज लिटिल बिट टॉलरेंट टू योर हीट इट विल बी एबल टू डू वेरी वेल एंड Don't go for the broadly varieties like Dendrocalamus asper, Dendrocalamus hamiltoni, Dendrocalamus uh, um, um, the latiflorus. Those bamboo which has got a bigger leaf don't grow it because it will not be able to grow well. Though there are some farmers are interested in growing, but that's not the right way to do it. Anything which is narrow leaf is better for you. Okay, okay. thank you, sir. Thank you. Just write to me. We will give you the entire list. They will also send you the uh, cultivation. I will put my email address in the chat box now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. welcome. Mr. Welcome for your interaction. And uh, next, I invite Mr. Rakilan to speak. Mr. Rakilan, please. Ah, Anaj, Barvi, Anaj, Vanakam. Vanakam, Vanakam. Vanakam, Anaj. Anaj, I have a few doubts, Anaj. சரிங்க நீங்க அந்த Black Cotton சைல்ல அந்த சம்மர்ல வந்து ரூட்ஸ் எல்லாம் அந்த வெடிக்கிறதுனால கட் ஆயிரும் நீங்க ஆமா அதுக்கு நான் வந்து நம்ம फ्लड इरिगेशन பண்ணனுமா இல்ல ड्रिप इरिगेशनே போதுமா फ्लड इरिगेशन फ्लड इरिगेशन பண்ணனும் फ्लड பண்ணனும் इरिगेशन फ्लड பண்ணனும் அந்த நேரத்துல फ्लड பண்ணனும் என்ன நச்சே சரி சரி ஆமா அது ஒரு இது அனாச்சி நீங்க ரீடைல் அவுட்லெட்ஸ் எதுவும் இங்க வச்சிருக்கீங்களா சவுத்ல இல்லங்க எல்லாமே நான் இங்க இருந்து அனுப்பிட்டு இருக்கேன் உலகம் முழுக்க இங்க தான் அனுப்பிட்டு இருக்கேன் இன்னும் பண்ணல தனியா ரீட் லைட் ஏனா ஒரு ரெண்டு மணி நேரத்துல என்ன பண்ணிட்டாங்கன்னா சீ மாத்தி கொடுத்துறாங்க ஓ சரி சரி ஓகே ஓகே இப்போ என்ன இருக்குناக்க சவுத் இந்தியா நம்ம திருச்சில ஒரு 1000 செடி பீமா பாம்பு நட்டதா சொல்லி சொல்லி எனக்கு வந்து இப்போ வந்து 20000 செடி வாங்குறாங்க அந்த 1000 செடி போட்டோ எடுத்து அனுப்புனா தெரியுது அது என்னோட பீமாவே இல்ல என்னன்னு கேக்கும்போது நர்சில வாங்கி போட்ட சார் அவங்க தான் சொன்னாங்க எனக்கு அப்படினாங்க சரி எனக்கு என்னமோ அது போட்டேங்க அது கூட இது நல்லா வளரும் அல்ல முள்ள வர போதே இல்ல முள்ள வராது see yeah in the mari people start missing inala i have not given it but if genuine people are there then we can do it sir that's a way to grow further pananam sir anaji excellent presentation romba seriyaada vishayangal nariya padichittu da romba thank you ana paakala thank you thank you again sir thank you thank you jo sir adutadhaga ethru ram yes avargalai pesa alaikiren क्वेश्चन <laughs> 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 अब 
கரெக்டா பண்ண முடியும்னு சொன்னீங்க பட் என்ன கேக்குறேனா நீங்க சப்போர்ட் பண்றீங்களா இப்ப வந்து பீமா மூங்கில் சப்போர்ட் பண்றீங்களா அதே போல மத்த ஸ்பீஷிஸும் நீங்க டிஷ்யூ கல்ச்சர் கல்டிவேட் பண்ணி சப்ளை பண்றீங்களா ஆமாங்க நான் ஒரு 12 ஸ்பீஷிஸ் பண்ணி கொடுத்துட்டு இருக்கேன் இன்னொரு இன்னொரு 1 ವರ್ಷத்துல நான் வந்து அது 20 ஸ்பீஷிஸ் ஆயிரும் ஏனா ஒவ்வொருத்தருக்கு ஒவ்வொரு தேவைகள் இருக்கனால அவங்க வேற வேற ஸ்பீஷிஸ் கேக்குறாங்க அதனால மாதி மாதி அவங்களுக்கு கொடுத்துட்டு இருக்கேன் ஓகே சார் ஓகே நான் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் இப்பமே எங்க எங்க கிட்ட வந்து 12 ஸ்பீஷிஸ் இருக்கு we are supplying to the government ஓகே சார் थैंक यू थैंक यू so much sir thank you mr ram for your interaction அடுத்ததாக i request aps ipl Uh, to interact please i think he is not ready now and i request uh, mr ganesh and ramesh to interact ganesh please sir vanakkam sir en per ramesh vanakkam sir enak kaanjipura sir enak sandha ore actually na border security force la kolkata la work pannikitte irukken sir very good sir sir na kolkata la paapen moongilla nam oor side la irukra moongilla vandu முள்ளு முள்ளா இருக்கும் இந்த சைட்ல இருக்கிற மூங்கெல்லாம் முள்ள எல்லாம் இருக்கு இதை எப்படி நம்ம கொண்டு போய் நம்ம வைப்போம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நான் பார்ப்பேன் எனக்கு தெரியல ரெண்டு மூணு இடத்துல விசாரிச்சு எடுத்துட்டு போறதுக்காக ஆனா அங்க இருந்து கொண்டு வர்றதுக்கு என்னால முடியல இப்போ உங்களோட ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் பாக்குறப்ப எனக்கு ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமா இருந்தது மூசா கேட்க முடியல என்னால இப்ப உங்ககிட்ட இருந்து மூங்கெல்லாம் கிடைக்கணும் போது ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமா இருக்கு நம்ம இங்க வச்சு நம்ம பண்ணலாமே அப்படின்னு ரொம்ப ரொம்ப நல்லா இருந்தது சார் உங்க ஒருத்தோஷம் <laughs> 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 சரி சார் இப்ப நம்ம கண்ணு வாங்கணும்னா இப்ப உங்களை கான்டாக்ட் பண்ணனாலே போறீங்க சார் ஆ போடுங்க இங்க இருக்குங்க ஒசூல்ல இருக்குங்க நீ எந்த ஊர்ல நடந்து நடந்து உங்களுக்கு சார் எனக்கு வந்து காஞ்சிபுரத்துல சார் காஞ்சிபுரத்துல சரிங்க சார் கொஞ்சம் செடி வேணும்னு வெச்சுக்கோங்களே ஒரு அஞ்சு செடி பத்து செடி வேணும்னாக்க மெசேஜ் போடுங்க அது வந்து கொரியல் அனுப்பிடுவாங்க ஓகே சார் ஓகே இல்ல உங்களுக்கு நிறைய வேணும் ஒரு வயல்ல ஒரு 1000 செடி வேணும் ரெண்டா செடி வேணும்னாக்க அதுக்கு தனியா போட்டு வாங்கிக்கோங்க அது வந்து அது வேற நிறைய <laughs> 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 3 chat box ல போட்டுக்குறேன் அந்த நம்பருக்கு மெசேஜ் கொடுத்தீங்கனாக்க அவங்க வந்து தே will make arrangement ஆர் ஆர் சரியா வரும் மல்டிபிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் 6 நம்பர்ஸ் ஒரு ஒரு பாக்ஸ்ல கோரியல்ல போட்டு அனுப்பிடுவாங்க சரி சார் சரி சார் எனக்கு ரொம்ப ஆர் வேணும் வயர்க்கு போடுறதுக்கு நீங்க நான் மெயில் அட்ரஸ் கொடுத்துட்டேன் அதுல कांटेक्ट பண்ணுங்க எனக்கு எனக்கு ரொம்ப ஆசையா என்ன அப்படினாக்க நம்ம சைடுல நிறைய முள்ள இருக்கு ஒரு கலை வெட்டணும்னால எழுத்து ஒண்ணும் பண்ண முடியாது ஆனா அங்க பாத்தீங்கனா அப்படியே அருமையா தனி 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 போயிட்டே இருக்கும் அத பாக்க பாக்க ரொம்ப ஆசையா இருக்கு சார் கரெக்ட் கரெக்ட் அதே முகில் தான் இப்போ இங்க பண்ணிட்டு இருக்குது எல்லாமே ரைட் ரைட் ஓகே சார் ஓகே சார் நன்றி சார் ஐ திங்க் அஜித் அஜித் போஸ்லி இஸ் ட்ரைங் டு டாக் டு us யா थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर கனெக்ஷன் ஃபார் பார்ட்டிசிபேட்டிங் இன் தி டிபேட் அடுத்ததாக ஐ रिक्वेस्ट APS IPL டு இன்டராக்ட் ப்ளீஸ் APS IPL ப்ளீஸ் சார் யூ ஆர் not audible APS IPL you are not audible you set your microphone sir sir sorry you are not audible please okay uh, i request next i request mr rajit bosla bosle sorry uh, i request mr rajit bosle to uh, interact uh, good afternoon everybody good afternoon doctor good afternoon sir it is a very nice presentation uh, one question uh, from nagpur uh, he was mr rahul what you asked regarding black cotton soil 
yes sir in case of black cotton soil the soils uh, across uh, even in vidarbha and uh, some parts of Ma marathwada and in western maharashtra also the clay percent is uh, uh, i think more uh, it is uh, ranging between 50 to 6 uh, 57% doctor okay sir these are these are vertical soils okay and uh, the high percentage of clay uh, okay. it affects the soil adversely as in the heavy rain, uh, in the heavy rains the lot of uh, uh, water logging is there and as the summer approaches the soil becomes very hard very hard means like it, it uh, like a cement block the soil gets hardened cracks are developed and that will hinder the development of uh, uh, rhizome so whenever we go for we will go for uh, the bamboo plantation in the black cotton soils uh, we have to take care that uh, for every watering in the uh, growing season from uh, june to october or even november also uh, we should give doses of uh, npk at least uh, 50 to 100 grams per watering so that will uh, initiate the early establishment of the seedling the early establishment formation of the rhizomes development of the rhizomes and uh, new shoots will come up this will and this will help uh, more and more shoots, the more and more leaves, and these leaves, when they will uh, be, uh, they will, uh, they will be dried. It will add to the uh, soil, and uh, basically these black cotton soils, they are, uh, they are having deficiency of carbon, organic carbon. So, as you said, that uh, if uh, leaf shedding is more, the more is the branches, more are the shoots, more will be the. Uh, leaf fall uh, or leaf litter on the uh, ground and uh, the soil texture will be improved because uh, in the very hot summer season like in Akola district it is a classical example of salinity, salinity due to high temperature in the summer season because as the temperature uh, reaches some 45 centigrade to 48 centigrade in the summer season uh, the soil water comes up on the surface with the capillary action and uh, the salt the salt pans are formed on the uh, soil surface so to break the capillary action uh, we have to uh, see that the early establishment of the rhizome and uh, formation of new shoots it is essential and for that in the growing season whatever water is available in that period uh, so we have to give more watering plus more uh, application of uh, NPK so that will uh, have proper development of uh, the bamboo uh, clumps. Thank you, sir. And one Thank more you, question, sir. Dr. For I the benefit ask... of others, Mrs. Ajit Bosle yes. is a master's in agriculture. He is a chief conservator of forest in the forest, and after serving. He is uh, he's, uh, serving as an uh, expert in the Bamboo Development Board as a coordinator for those districts. He's a very practical man. He has been growing bamboo himself with his, all his uh, uh, you know, people. For the last uh, over 15 years, he's doing it. He's a very practical man. Whatever he said is very right, true. Uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, bamboo is going to increase the porosity of the leaf roots because the roots, you know, they, they increase the porosity to a level of around 70%. And which also makes the soil more, uh, you know, uh, uh, percolate the water downward. And uh, only for the first uh, 60 centimeter, there is a research done in China now. They found out that, you know, the bamboo can hold something like 430 millimeter water because of the porosity of up to 70 percent in the, in the bamboo, in the soil. Now, this is amounts to around 17 lakh liter per acre. And... Uh, um, then, you know, this, this after two years, three years, this is going to be very good uh, soil. As you rightly said, this leaf which is falling also increases the organic carbon, reduces the pH, and it's able to really make the soil friable and increase, uh, uh, you know, the porosity and water holding capacity. And then and the soil texture is also getting changed because the leaf which is falling, sir. But in the beginning, yes, it's a tough thing. You have to really water them in the summer, flood irrigation, uh, is to be done, then later on it will be able to take care by itself. And sir, uh, for first two years, if the in the black cotton soil, or medium to heavy black cotton soil, if the farmers take uh, will take uh, the uh, inter intercrops cultivation, 
then uh, the soil uh, texture will be also increased exactly sir very true sir very very uh, secondly true. i want to uh, bring one notice that uh, bamboo leaves are having a very good percentage of silica which is also useful for uh, if, if it is used as a fodder uh, not 100% fodder but uh, if it is mixed with other green fodder then very it true. will uh, it will be a uh, good uh, manure for, uh, for the cattle also so there are some persons uh, in from aurangabad they are trying that uh, they are establishing uh, some plant of uh, uh, ca ca cattle feed they are preparing and in that some 20% of bamboo leaves will be added uh, which will also be uh, uh, for mil more milk production silica is also required and that will be available from the bamboo leaves and in addition to that in uh, the century of uh, the cattle uh, the bamboo leaves are feed then the dysentery will be also prevented so bamboo plantation will have uh, uh, application in a uh, uh, cattle feed uh, production also and uh, thirdly uh, if any farmer is taking up pure bamboo plantation then see if one farmer is taking one acre of bamboo plantation uh, of two two uh, some uh, two r or three or five r area Uh, it can be kept for uh, say uh, poultry uh, this uh, country uh, uh, this uh, chicken uh, hens can be poultry can be practiced in that area and when the chicken mesh gauge it can be uh, put around that area small area and so in an additional income from the eggs and from the chicken will be also uh, will be possible for the farmers also this we are trying in uh, ratnagiri district because there is one uh, uh, concept that a family uh, if it is having one r of land uh, that is 100 square meter in if that land is uh, cultivated with some 32 35 vegetable some other uh, climbers etc which should be used as food uh, food also so in that uh, uh, they will get it is estimated that that family will get get some 1 lakh 50000 rupees per annum so that, that is good avenue for the bamboo cultivating farmers excellent sir excellent thank you excellent thank you thank you thank you mr rajit bosle for your uh, information and uh, joining us in the interaction thank you yes sir and uh, i next i request mr bharat reddy to uh, share his views mr bharat reddy please hello sir yes sir hello uh, please sir, so, sir. i am bharat reddy from andhra pradesh yes, yes please so sir i am very interested in growing bamboo uh, sir what i wanted to know is uh, what type of uh, intercropping can be done in bamboo when it is fully grown like uh, it will be in complete shade right sir so, so, when it is oh, yeah uh, let me answer the first question the um, yes. uh, bamboo can be used as a intercrop only for the first two or three months depending on the space between the two rows which demands sunlight now okay. after three or four years time it is going to be complete shade and it's going to be cool it's suitable for two things one is vermicomposting another is mushroom cultivation you can grow mushroom without the shed you can grow inside this bamboo itself and as mr ajit bosley was saying about it you can also grow cat uh, you know the sheep and then also the uh, the 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 poultry my son is growing my son has got a five acre bamboo field here he is growing all the poultry is in the inside so you can go only this mixed form you can bring in but not as a crop but normally people say that that there are uh, um you know uh, herbal plants are there which needs uh, which needs uh, which can be grown but then to my experience i find that the light is totally not available but if you make a wide row something like 30 or 40 feet between two rows then you can grow something continuously on that for which the bamboo should be planted east to west the row should be east to west not north to south then you can do that similar work we are going to do now in um, you know in arab countries especially in abu dhabi and dubai we are going to do that where bamboo is going to be grown as a a greenhouse plant not as a bamboo as a crop it to bring down the temperature humidity increase of humidity 
and make all the plant to be grown in the sand desert. They got to do that. So that's another move where bamboo will be planted very wide. But in Andhra Pradesh, um, which is the which is the place in Andhra or Telangana? Yes. Andhra uh, Nellore district, sir. Nellore. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of farmers also growing in Nellore or uh, bamboo. Um, you have, you have a lot of uh, you know uh, water is also available, and uh, it will be a good uh, shield against your uh, um, you know the wind speed, which is very high during the monsoon. So yes, that sir. also will be able to protect. And I have encouraged my friend also to grow in uh, Surya Pet, sir, Telangana. Okay, okay, okay. So great, great. Both are planning to grow together. Super. Uh, yes, Super. Sir. sir, another thing is uh, you, you said that uh, fertilization is uh, important. Correct. So, is it possible to do it in the uh, natural way? We can do it through natural way, but what happens? The quantum of nutrient needed for the plant is so high. You know, yes. uh, as I told you there, you need 400 kgs of nitrogen per acre for its full growth of, uh, you know, 100 tons per uh, hectare, 40 yes. kgs of phosphorus and 480 kgs of potash. So this cannot be given only through organic, which is going to be very expensive, very expensive. So better to substitute through the uh, our uh, chemical fertilizer. And But if you dilute and give it, nothing will happen to the earthworm, nothing will happen to the soil. Uh, you know, the bamboo will take all that away. It will not affect the soil. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. No, thank you. for your interaction. And, no, thank you. Uh, and now no, I thank you. request Mrs. Uh, uh, Anuradha to interact. Anuradha, please. Anuradha, you can tell me. Yes. Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, please introduce um, yourself and ask your question. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, first thing, uh, I, I want to tell the uh, and Bhati sir, that uh, I'm following him every time. I listen his uh, <laughs> lesson every time. And every time he gives more new information. He is uh, more than Google. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now, sir, uh, I want uh, to know that if I plant bamboo uh, in that area where it's uh, uh, no bamboo is available, okay, uh, does it affect the biodiversity of that area? Uh, see, biodiversity, if you talk only in terms of plants, yes, it's, bamboo is going to grow, but biodiversity in terms of all organisms, flora and fauna, it brings in a lot of birds, it brings in a lot of other microorganisms in the soil, which is not otherwise is available there. And it brings a lot of insects. Bamboo is able to tolerate all the insects and grow. If you go there, you can see even a honeybee also you'll be able to see inside. You'll see uh, in South India, especially, we can see this uh, peacock coming inside and standing and then, you know, resting inside. You know, all these kinds of different birds and animals, they come inside. So total flora fauna is not affected. It's not a, such a monocrop. But if you're talking only in terms of plants, yes, it's, it's, it's bringing such a strong shade in a feed that it is not allowing other plants to grow. Correct. But okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, and the second question is that what is the thumb rule for water per plant per day? Uh, the uh, area which is a dry area for that thing right. and the land is the cotton land. Thumb, and, rule, thumb rule for... 1,000 plants per acre is 20 liters per plant per day. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, one more thing is that bamboo roots uh, absorbs the water from the land. And also, uh, if uh, does it uh, help to uh, increase the water level of the soil, inside the soil? Exactly correct. Uh, bamboo roots goes only to a depth of two feet from the top. It below that it cannot go. Instead, it will go laterally for five feet, ten feet, fifteen feet, even up to twenty feet. It can stretch. Now, because these roots are going through the soil, I was replaying uh, Mr. Bosley also the same thing. When the roots are passing through the soil, they create the space between the soil. That way, it's increasing the porosity to a maximum of 70% in the soil. 
Okay. Now, normal soil is very hard. No water is able to go. Now, what happens in the because the seventy percent porosity in the sixty centimeter soil, it's able to hold a water up to four hundred and thirty millimeter. When you say dry area, your rainfall could be around six hundred, seven hundred, or at the maximum nine hundred millimeter per annum. So, in that half of the water falling on the bamboo plant will be absorbed like a foam. Now, when they take the water, the water. Also goes to the ground slow, slowly, 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 and increase the water table. There is you can go to the internet and check up. There is a book called uh, "Greening the Red Earth" by Inba. Hello, now that "Greening the Red Earth" book, if you read it, the last but one page, you will be able to see how water table increased in Alagabad. Uh, you know the water table in 1996 it was 40 meter deep. After planting bamboo, in uh, four years' time, in 2000, the water table increased from 40 meter depth to 32.6 meter depth. Oh. So it is water table increase. Number one, number two, all the lake waters normally dry by the month of January because June, July is the rainfall. January it gets dried up. But after planting bamboo, from January it went up to June, July. All these are recorded. They got an international award for this. and all the bamboos are planted in a very bad soil where there is no soil the soil was re removed for making bricks so in that reason the book is called greening the red death okay sir Please. thank you sir thank you sir most welcome most thank welcome. you thank you mrs uh, anuradha for your interaction uh, next i request uh, aps ipl to yeah yes sir yes hello yes. sir uh, is it audible sir bharati yes, sir yes very much audible Yeah, yes, sir. For if I want to produce one megawatt per day, megawatt, uh, so is the raw material availability is there supply? Yes, yeah, one megawatt per day or one megawatt per hour? No, plant capacity one megawatt. Okay. So for that raw material availability is there? Uh, which place, sir? That? Where are you from? For Trivandrum, uh, I am from uh, here, Tamil Nadu only. No, sir. Uh, which place? Actually, to tell you, Kambu is available. Where is the power uh, factory? Yeah, yeah. For uh, in order to set up your for my oxygen plant, uh, I am going uh, planning for this uh, this one so bamboo uh, from bamboo biomass so converting into uh, electricity. Very good. And uh, if I do the if I plan for that, so one of my one of my what my plant capacity means uh, uh, then I have to go for same capacity for the twenty uh, four hours. Uh, okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. For one megawatt, you need one ton of bamboo every hour, twenty-four tons per day, and for three sixty-five days. Normally, you run only three thirty days, but even if it is three thirty days, three sixty-five days, you need eight thousand tons of biomass for the whole year. So, eight thousand tons of biomass will come from one hundred and eighty acres, or say two hundred acres. So, if there is surrounding farmers are growing two hundred acres. Bamboo, okay. you can produce one megawatt continuously every day, every hour, every year of the year after year. You can produce it. Okay, if you put a plant, one megawatt uh, plant, then uh, for for this, uh, uh, so two hundred acre I have to target. Then only this will suffice the requirement of yearly production. Exactly correct. And uh, okay, so instead of for the solar and hybrid power, I can plant for this. This is viable. Very yes, much viable. See, in a solar panel, your uh, Solar uh, wind, not solar. Wind. Yeah, solar wind. If I put, if this, what will be the comparison in terms of the effect? Of yes, whether solar, solar will give you one megawatt solar power project will give you eight hours light every day, and for uh, you, you don't get the sun throughout the year because of the rainy season. So you get around two thousand megawatt per year from one megawatt solar project. In a windmill, a good windmill like in the Valdez and Kaitar or down south Nagargoil, and it will give you to give you two thousand four hundred megawatt hours in a year. So same one megawatt in a biomass will give you seven thousand two hundred megawatt hours. That means one solar, you know, one megawatt of power biomass power project is equal to three megawatt of solar. Three megawatt of solar. In terms of total turnover for the whole year. Okay, turnover for whole year. Okay, okay. okay. Whole year. You should check up only because a company which we are putting it, you need to run for the whole year. And what is the turnover for you? Sir, one third cost only for my working capital for the this one bamboo. Working capital, 
is uh, you you bamboo biomass is sold by farmers at the rate of four thousand rupees a ton. So okay, if I for firing for electricity purpose, four thousand per ton. Four thousand rupees per ton for a dry bamboo. If it is a wet bamboo, it will be three thousand. But you need to buy instead of one ton, you need to buy one 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 point three tons. So however, okay, however, you you can take a cost of four thousand rupees per megawatt is your power gen uh, biomass cost. Another eight hundred rupees for your management of power project, the labor, okay. depreciation, maintenance, all put together. So four point eight right. will be your cost. Okay, my question is that initial seven months without break, am I will get raw material or not? From what is the top three state supplier production wise? Could you just repeat the question? I'm not able to understand. So if I put a plant, I should not fail for initial seven months or seven quarter. So am I will get uh, without break raw material continuity supply <clears throat> from yes. Karnataka, Kerala, CN. Yeah, you will get it. See, there are two hundred acres. Nothing, sir. It's available. It's one one kilometer by one kilometer. It's a lot of people already planted. It's only a question planted, of transporting from all the distance. What happens is your if you are transporting from Maharashtra or Karnataka, your cost is very high, double the yeah. cost. Yeah. So what I suggest to people who wants to put up a power project, you should be able to get the raw material within the radius of twenty five kilometers. Twenty five kilometers. Okay. So if I put the one amalai, then, uh, then if I have my own transport truck, uh, whether seven ton or twenty seven ton, if I have my own truck, then I can bring it from the four hundred kilometer radius. Very well, there. very well. It's available sufficiently. One megawatt, no, nothing. So it's available. More than that is available. Okay, one megawatt, nothing. So if I plant for hundred megawatt, then. <laughs> also can, right? <laughs> correct, correct. People are coming to me from Thutukudi. They are asking for six hundred megawatt. So you know, uh, then you need to have thousands of acres to be grown. They are also planning to grow now. In Chennai, okay. one is coming up, and then two two also they are coming up. One, okay, one megawatt also. So one megawatt tunnel is uh, less capacity, so that I will get easy raw material. Exactly. So you I can write to me, sir. I give you my email address. Please write okay. to me because this forum, lot of people will <laughs> be looking for other information. Uh, when we are missing comparison, we will discuss after. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Thank you, thank you, Mr. APS IPM. I'm um, thank, you, uh, for, thank you for your interaction. Thank you, sir. Next, I invite uh, Mr. Ananda Kumar from Trichy to interact. Hello, sir. Vanakam, sir. Vanakam, sir. Ah, I have one question to you, sir. I'm Trichy district. Sir, sir. So, I have marketing. Sir, you have to get confirmation that you have to get to the market. Sir, I 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 have to get to the market. இப்ப நாங்களே வந்து ஒரு இன்னொரு ஒரு மாசத்துல வந்து ஒரு நாற்பது ஏக்கரா போட போறோம் டால்மியா சிமெண்ட்டுக்கு அது மாதிரி எல்லாருமே இருக்கிறாங்க அவங்க இந்த நாற்பது ஏக்கரா அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு நாளை கூட பத்தாது சார் பத்தாது ஒரு நாளை கூட பத்தாது அதான் அவங்களுக்கு குவான்டிட்டி நிறைய இருக்குங்க அதனால அவங்களும் எதுக்கு போடுறாங்கன்னா மத்தவங்களுக்கு தெரியட்டும் இந்த மாதிரி மூங்கில் போட்டா நாங்க வாங்கிப்போம் அதை யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்காக வி ஆர் ஆல் கோன் டு யூஸ் இட் நாம் சோ தேர் ஆர் நாட் அதர் ஃபேக்ட்ரிஸ் ஆல்சோ கம்மிங் அப் in karnataka okay. we are doing for belgaum in uh, maharashtra uh, sorry in karna in uh, andhra we are doing for kadappa so like okay. this you know we are doing doing for companies to first to show them is a very very easy sir no problem at all okay sir pa enakku sir pa na nadanona putta ungalku eva naalikku munadi na order panni koduve sir na vandu oru naalikku 35000 chedi ready pandren oru varshathukku 100 lakh chedi pandren na ulagathile periya aalu indha moongil production la அதனால எப்ப கேட்டாலும் செடி இருக்கும் நீங்க என்ன ஒரு பத்து இருபது லட்சம் கேட்டீங்கன்னா கொஞ்சம் ஒரு மாசம் சொல்லுவேன் உங்ககிட்ட செடி வாங்கிக்கிறோம் பிளான் பண்ணிக்கிறோம் சொல்லுவாங்க <laughs> 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 ஒரு <laughs> 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 அவங்களே ஒரு இருபத்தஞ்சு ஏக்கரா என் மூங்கில போட்டிருக்காங்க 
ஓஹோ நான் அவங்க சூப்பர்வைசர் எங்க துறையூர் சூப்பர்வைசர் இருக்காரு சார் அவர் மூலியமா கேட்டேன் நான் ஒருவசம்ங்க <laughs> 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 அருமையான <laughs> 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 நம்ம மாவட்டத்துல இருந்து நிறைய மேங்கோ இருக்கு சார் ஆமா தருமபுரி மாவட்டத்துல அது வந்து இருக்கு மார்க்கெட்டிங் எல்லாம் இப்ப நிறைய ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்கு சரிங்க சார் வந்து ரீப்ளேஸ் பண்ணி நம்ம முங்கில பீமா முங்கில பயிரத்துக்கு இது பண்ணலாமா மேற்கொள்ளலாமா சார் பண்ணலாம் சார் நம்ம என்ன பண்ணணும் சார் நம்ம ஒரு கோஆபரேட்டிவா பண்ணி பண்ணோம்னாக்க கொண்டு போய் மொத்தமா கொடுக்கறது ஈஸியா போயிடும் இப்ப ஒவ்வொருத்தரா போய் விக்கிறதுக்கு கஷ்டம் இப்ப நமக்கு வந்து என்ன சொல்லுவேன் ஒரு 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 வரும்ிமேட்னால <laughs> வந்துடும் <laughs> என்ன பண்ணணும்னா இந்த மரம் மூங்கிலுக்கு சரிங்க சார் இப்போ நீங்க சொல்றது வந்து ஒரு ஒரு ஃபைவ் ஏக்கர்ஸ்ல வந்து மேங்கோ இருக்குதுன்னு சொன்னா அதை சுத்தலும் ஒரு 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 கயனிய சொல்லு போடலாமா இல்ல புல் வயல சுத்திலும் வயல சுத்தி போடலாம் சார் சுத்தி வயல சுத்தி மட்டும் போட்டா போதும் ஆஹ் அஞ்சு ஏக்கர்னு சொல்லும் போது உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஆஹ் எப்படி குறையாம வந்து ஒரு எழுநூறு ரன்னிங் மீட்டர் இருக்கும் சார் எழுநூறு ரன்னிங் மீட்டர்ல நீங்க கிட்ட கிட்ட மூங்கில போட்டீங்கன்னாக்க ஒரு ஐநூறுல இருந்து அறுநூறு மூங்கில் வரைக்கும் போட முடியும் சார் போய் மாமரத்தை போய் அடிக்கும் அப்ப என்ன சொல்லுவாங்க மூங்கில் நட்டதுக்கு அப்புறமா என் மாமரத்துல காயே வர மாட்டேங்க மூங்கிலும் நல்ல வளரும் ஒரு <laughs> ஒன்னுமிஷன் division uh, uh, in the bamboo plantation so after third year or second year it will be very difficult to go for uh, uh, some uh, inter cultivation but one species is uh, i think it will be suitable asparagus because the leaves are uh, needle shaped so the climber uh, as it is it being a climber it will grow up to the height of bamboo and it will not affect the uh, growth of bamboo also 
so will it be suitable species asparagus sir asparagus there are i did lot of work in asparagus for a german company and uh, there are asparagus for medicine there are asparagus for shoots oh. so asparagus for shoots normally what happens it is planted deep in the soil by 4 to 5 feet down and only the shoots are collected and uh, you can grow but then when you collect the shoots we every time we have to poke cut the, uh, the stem soil so that will affect the bamboo to grow sir so if it is a bamboo for the shoots but if you are talking about the bamboo for rhizome which is the medicinal material what is used in india which is a climber type so that maybe we will be able to grow there and uh, uh, take the rhizome but uh, but while collecting the rhizome you want to disturb the soil sir they may affect the bamboo number 1 number 2 uh, any rhizomatous plants demands more potash so bamboo also demands more potash if you see this my ratios you will understand that the potash to convert is very high so two potash loving plants should not be grown together but in between the bamboo hello bharai sir another question simple question sir kuch wait pannunga bharai sir yes sir or simple question tell me sir i have seen uh, in the some of the officers of higher official in the table there is a bamboo show <laughs> that is i want uh, that man how are you get in uh, i am from china he told that so show vachir kar table bamboo போட்டுப்பாங்க <laughs> 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 ஆனா அது மூங்கிலே இல்லை மூங்கிலுக்கு இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த குணங்கள் ஒண்ணுமே அது கிடையாது அது வந்து ஒரு வேற ஸ்பீஷிஸ் வேற ஜீனஸ் வேற ஃபேமிலி அது வந்து வளர்ந்தாதான் வீட்டுக்கு உள்ள வைக்க முடியாது வீட்டுக்கு கூட வெளிச்சம் படுற இடத்துல வைக்கணும் ஏன்னா இருக்குது சார் அது வாங்கி வச்சிடலாம் புத்தா பெல்லி பாம்பு ஒண்ணு இருக்குது அது சின்ன இருக்கும் பெருசா வளராது இல்ல எங்க கிடைக்குது அது இட்ஸ் அவேலபிள் இன் ஆல் நர்சரி சார் இட்ஸ் कॉल புத்தா பெல்லி பாம்பு ஆ பாம்புஸ் ஆ வல்காரிஸ் அப்படி சொல்வாங்க பாம்புஸ் ஆ வல்காரிஸ்ல அது வென்ட்ரிகோசா அப்படி ஒரு பாம்பு அது சின்னதா வளர பெருசா வளராது தொட்டில வளரும் ஆனா நம்ம சொல்ற இந்த மூங்கில சொல்ல கூடிய எஃபெக்ட்லாம் வராது பணம் வராது அதெல்லாம் வராது பாக்க அழகா இருக்கும் थैंक यू थैंक यू वेलकम சார் थैंक यू சார் थैंक यू so much சார் அந்த இவங்க வந்து பார்த்தாங்களா இஸ்லாமிக் வாய்ஸ் फ्रॉम பெங்களூரு வந்தாங்களா பார்க்கதா அவங்க கூட வந்தாங்களா நிறைய பிரைஸ் பண்ணணும்னு தோணுது நிறைய பாராட்டணும்னு தோணுது நிறைய என்ஜாய் பண்ணங்க வெரி ஹாப்பி சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் இப்போ நான் அவர் கிருஷ்ணகிரில இருந்து பேசினாருங்களே சார் குப்புசாமி சார்னுட்டு ஆமா சார் 
அவரோட அசோசியேட் பண்ணிக்கிறதுக்காக நான் இப்ப இதுல என்ட்ர் ஆயிருக்கேன் சார் இப்போ இது உங்களுக்கு இப்ப பேசுறதுடைய பர்பஸ் வந்து அவரோட நானும் அசோசியேட் ஆயிருக்கணும் மாந்தோட்டம் நம்முடைய மாந்தோட்டத்திலையும் அந்த மாதிரி மூங்கில் நடணும் மூங்கிலுக்கு போயிடணும் அப்படின்னு விரும்புறேங்க சார் சரிங்க சார் அவரு இது திஸ் இஸ் டு யூ கன்வே டு ஹிம் ஐ வில் நாட் நோன் குபுசாமி ஐ க லைக் டு நோ அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேட் வித் ஹிம் சார் 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 அவர் குப்சம் இருக்கா தெரியல நீங்க என்ன பண்ணுங்க என் நம்பருக்கு மெசேஜ் கொடுங்க நான் அவர் மனு பேர் உங்களுக்கு அனுப்புறேன் அண்ட் ரெண்டு பேருக்குமே ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட் கொடுக்குற உங்களுக்கு எப்படி மூங்கில்ல ஒரு 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 வேலி பயிரா பவுண்டரி பிளான்ட்டா வளர்க்கறதுங்கறது ஐ will send you the information by whatsapp to you no problem sir actually yes, 14 page document i'll send it to you yes sir ah uh, with the help of you and kupusame we will transform krishnagiri district into bambo district sir thank you sir thank you thank you thank you sir thank you doctor thank you doctor thank you, thank you so much sir thank you sir joe sir thank you sir thank you sir. thank you so much uh, doctor gopinathan regular adikadi nammoda zoom meeting la kalandukiranga nariya informations gather pannitirukanga he was a dean of stanley medical college i think and uh, he was the director of medical education for some time also excellent so, excellent very nice very nice to meet you are uh, privileged to have him in your midst and uh, i think uh, mrs tejashree is willing to ask some questions uh, okay yes, so mrs tejashree do you want to interact sir i have a question yes please yes yes please uh, sir if we go for a bot crop how much space is there left access sir if we yes. bot crop on that one you know 500 to 700 planting sampling panna adala ninga ethana adi spacing adu eduthu kon sir bot crop ku pogo bot crop la soil ku vandu panna bodu or rendu adi podum ana mele crown of the bamboo is going to be bigger like a mushroom mari perusa valarum there are rendu species irukudhu rendu type of species irukudhu ஒன்னு வந்து அப்படியே வளர்ந்த கிரவுண்ட் மாதிரி பெருசா ஆகி குடிச்சுக்கும் அது தட் will cover 10 feet on both sides but there is one more bamboo which grows like a pine tree அப்படியே ஸ்ட்ரைட்டா நீளமா நிக்கும் it's called thyrostachys olivarae thyrostachys olivarae போடும்போது it will be straight it will not take any area ground it will take 2 feet width the top also it will take at the maximum 4 or 5 feet width but normal other bamboos are all they take 2 feet the ground at the bottom but மேல வந்து ஸ்டடி எடுத்துக்கும் மேடம் ஒரு மூங்கில் இருக்கு அந்த மூங்கில் வந்து நேர வேர்டிக்கல வளரும் நேரம் அப்படியே இருக்கும் ஃபுல்லாவே அது வந்து த்ரீ டு ஃபோர் ஃபீட் போதுங்கிறதுக்கு அது ஒரு அந்த மூங்கில் வந்து கொஞ்சம் ஸ்ப்ரெட் ஆகாது அப்படியே ஒரு ஒரு பக்கம் பக்கமா பக்கம் பக்கமா இருக்கும் நாலு அடிக்கு ஒரு மரம் நட வேண்டியது இருக்கும் மற்றதுன்னா பத்து அடி குட்டா போதும் இது நாலு அடி நாலு அடியில் நட வேண்டியது இருக்கும் அப்போ ஒரு கொஞ்சம் ஒரு ஒரு ரெண்டு வருஷம் மூணு வருஷத்துல ஒரு செவராக இருக்கும் கம்ப்ளீட்டாவே செவர் ஆயிரும் மூங்கில் செவர் ஆயிரும் ஓகே சார் இப்போ மற்ற ஈவன் வெஜிடபிள் கிராப்னாலும் இல்லை சுகர் கேன் பேடி மற்ற எந்த கிராப்னாலுமே இப்போ நம்ம இது பண்ண முடியுங்களா ஆமாங்க பண்ண முடியுங்க பண்ண முடியும் எவ்வளோ வேர் வந்து எப்படி சார் இது வந்து சல்லி வேர் சொன்னீங்க சைடில் தான் போகும் தென்னை மரம் மாதிரி சைடு ஆ சல்லி வேர் தாங்க சார் எவ்வளோ அடி வந்து இது போகும் சார் ஃபைபரஸ் ரூட்ஸ் தான் இது ஆனால் சைடில் போயிட்டே இருக்கும் ரொம்ப தூரத்துக்கு என்ன பண்ணணும் இந்த மூங்கில் வேலிக்கும் நம்ம போட்டிருக்க பயிருக்கு இடையில ஒரு ட்ரென்ச் வெட்டணும்னு சொன்ன முன்னாலே ஒரு போடணும் இல்ல பத்தடி பத்தடி இல்ல இப்ப எனக்கு ஸ்கிரீன் பின்னால பாத்தீங்களா இதெல்லாம் வந்து பத்தடி பத்தடி நட்டது மேல மூடி இருக்க மாதிரி இருக்கும் ஆனா உள்ளுக்குள்ள கீழே கேப் இருக்கும் சோ அந்த மாதிரி போடலாங்க சோ நம்ம வந்து மூங்கில் போடுறது என்ன காரத்துக்காக போடுறோம்னு சொல்லி பாத்துட்டு அதுக்கு தகுந்த மாதிரி நடணும் சல்லி வேறு இருக்குது சல்லி வேறு வந்து பத்து இருபது அடி வரைக்கும் போகும் அதை எடுத்துட்டு 
இதெல்லாமே நான் ஒரு எனக்கு என்னோட நம்பர் போட்டிருக்கிறதுல அதுல நீங்க மெசேஜ் போட்டீங்கன்னாக்கா யார் யார் கேட்குறீங்களோ யார் யாருக்கு வேணுமோ அந்த அந்த விஷயங்கள்ல will share it normally it is in english okay sir thank you thank you ms lakshmi narayanan uh, for your interaction uh, any other interactions any other questions yes so we sir nerinja the whatsapp la chat box la nerai ketirukanga kelvi enna panna avangala avanga information kuduthirukanga yes normally la zoom la enala copy panna mudiyum but enala panna mudiyala po okay அதுக்கு நீங்க எதை கிவ் மீ ரைட்ஸ் ஆர் நீங்க காப்பி பண்ணி எனக்கு அனுப்புங்க எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் ஐ வில் காப்பி தி சாட் பாக்ஸ் அண்ட் சென்ட் இட் டு யூ ப்ளீஸ் 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 बिकॉज லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்பிள் ஆர் சோ many things with their address yes, yes. name எல்லாம் கொடுத்துட்டாங்க யா मोस्ट ஆஃப் தி திங்ஸ் ஆர் ஆன்சர்ட் பட் ஈவன் தென் ஐ வில் ஜஸ்ட் காப்பி இட் டவுன் அண்ட் ப்ளீஸ் சார் ப்ளீஸ் சார் थैंक यू சார் थैंक यू थैंक यू இது வந்து டெலிஃபோன் சார் டிஸ்கஷன் வெரி குட் டெலிஃபோன் சார் காட்டல டிஸ்கஷன் அண்ட் வெரி ஆனையல் வந்து அந்த फ्रॉम டாக்டர் பாரதிபாரிபன்ஸ்ரேஷன்ஸ்வெல்ங்க we are closing the session <laughs> by you. now and we'll uh, look on to the next session tomorrow at 11 am thank you right sir thank, thank you. you sir thanks a lot thanks a lot of people still waiting and thank you thank you for everyone thank you